What's happening, lads? We've got some absolutely unbelievable news. We have been shortlisted. We're in the final four, final four, for a National Comedy Award. We want you to go to votehaveaword.com right now and vote for us. There's other categories as well, but we are up against the three biggest podcasts in the country. We like to think we're massive, but we're a small fish compared to these. What we do have over them, though, is the most engaged and interactive fan base on the planet, you lot. If you've already voted for us, that doesn't count. You have to do it again. You have to vote, and then you'll be sent an email to click a link and verify your vote. Please go and do it now. Your votes have got us this far. We need you to go again, vote again, send it to your friends and family, put it in your WhatsApp groups, tweet it, Instagram it, all that good stuff, and make us win a National Comedy Award, and the underdog wins this. Live on Channel 4. Get Sensei Carl live on Channel 4, and he will end UK television. (laughs) (laughs) We've also got specials out. I've got a stand-up special out, Adam Rowan Perius. Thank you so much to the over 100,000 people who've already watched that. That is on the Have A Weird channel if you want to check that out. But my man, Dan Nightingale, first ever stand-up special. It's out right now. Go and watch Smash It on the Have A Word YouTube page. I would really appreciate it if you did comments, shares. Let everybody know I made a full show. And on top of that, if you're scrolling through social media and you see a clip we've put out from Have A Word or one of the specials, do us a favour, like, share it, retweet it, all of that for us. It helps. Now, as always, we've got to tell you, we have got the number one Patreon membership in the UK and one of the top 20 on the planet. The reason for that is you get all of this good stuff. Dan, tell them what they get. An extra episode every week. It's just us and the boys It's always the best podcast in the Patreon exclusive is out every Wednesday, audio and video. You also get early access to the public episode. Pubes get it on Monday. You will get it on Saturday morning to watch. And then there is the Patreon specials. Oh my God, they are legendary. We have got the arena show that we did in December. That massive special is now out and it's been hugely popular. There's also the restaurant takeover, the footy special, the rugby special. There's loads. All the the lock-ins. The ones where we get absolutely hammered with some of our favourite guests. It is the funniest and most chaotic podcast than we do. You only get that if you're a Patreon. Sign up at patreon.com slash have a word pod now. Start at just three quid a month and you get all of the content. Even if you're just a three quid a month there, you get all of the content we've just talked about. Please go and sign up. Become part of the army, which is over 19,000 strong now. Don't be an idiot. Join the fucking squad, mate, okay? Enjoy this episode. It's going to be a belter. Wag Wag Leads, you're listening to the funniest podcast in the game with Adam, Dan, Sensei Kal, and Finn. This is the one and only Have A Word. Brought to you by Manscaped.com, the very best in below-the-belt men's grooming. Go, Ed, get on me. Oh, here we go. Episode 3,200 and fuck knows what. But this is going to be the best one. <laughs> yeah. I feel it. I feel it in my titties. Yeah. I feel it in my balls. It's weird, isn't it? Because we recorded yesterday. Normally, if we do two back to back, there's like a lack of zim in the room. Zim? Zip. Zim? Zim zimmer. <laughs> Who got the keys <laughs> to my bimmer? I don't know Who why. I just feel. Woo! I feel. I've had a coffee this morning, like a really strong one, and I can't wait for another one. <laughs> Let's do it. I'll have some of that. I'm very suggestible today. I want a kebab today. Yes, I want one as well. I want Donna meat. No, oh, I can't. And me. chicken meat. That's me out. Chicken Why? meat. It's dog bum holes, isn't it? It's not. Oh. It's lamb bum holes. It's it's too many bum holes. No, Donna meat's great. Oh, mate, Donna meat is fucking incredible. I'll have Dua Lipa kebab. That's the only bum hole I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> no, Donna meat is like a top shelf meat. <laughs> Shut. The fuck no, up about it, shelves. The only reason people think that lamb, uh, that Donna is like a shit meat is because it's so readily available. They they confuse the fact that it's convenient with the fact that it's shit meat. It isn't. Oh, yeah, I was doing that. Yeah. It's Come absolutely back. fantastic. Yeah, Give me yeah, a bit yeah. of that elephant's leg, lad. Shove it in me fucking batty. That's why you see salt, babe. Oh, oh, mate, it? Tahini, sweet chili, bam, bam, bam. Oh, be bollocks. Garlic and hot chicken, chili for me. Chicken, mate. Oh, chicken. A little bit, little bit of... Chicken cheese. Garlic meal. Garlic meal. A little bit of chili sauce. From a Kurdistan man. Ugh. No kebab for Spass. me. Spass. Yeah. You know in Turkey, Finn? Yeah. yeah. You know the careers officer? Mm. Is it just like air cuts or kebabs? Yeah. 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 For the men. <laughs> for the men. <laughs> what do the women do? Stay at home. Stay at home. <laughs> <laughs> That's, Hello, that's welcome, come on in, mate. <laughs> so you are a woman, mate? Okay, so no cutting hair for you, mate. No kebabs for you, you go home. Okay, mate, you come in, John. Hello, John. 
You want to cut hair, mate? No? John. Go and, go John and make Gilman's some meat, mate. uncle's called John. Turkish John? Yeah. <laughs> One of your uncles is called John. One of your Turkish ones? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> liar, liar, Everyone's pants got on an fire. Uncle John. I've got an uncle John. I've got an uncle John. My dad's brother. Yeah. He's a firefighter. My mum's brother is called John. Yeah. Everyone's related to a John. My Apart dad's from brother was once the head of the entire Merseyside Fire Service. I can't be asked. That. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ring the bullshit bell, but go ahead. He was. Go ahead. He was. Speaking yeah. The, yeah. Was He's he the king of the fires, wasn't he? Cock of the fires. Yeah. Just fucking punching fires out. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even fuck use off his stupid fire. <laughs> fucking hell, look at John. He's the king of fires, lad. Yeah. Just fucking squat some out. He's one of my dad's brothers who sort of did all right and moved uh, moved away a bit. Where to? <laughs> Chill <Chilwell. laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, like kid. Fucking oh, hell, he's 0.8 miles away. He <laughs> got out of the fucking ghetto, <laughs> swatting fires for fucking posh people. <laughs> Round here, burns down. No, but most of me dad's fuck. family, right? Most of me dad's family. He's got a driveway. <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Most of me dad's family stayed either in Dovecot or went to Skem. Why? Because that's just where, what they did. Why? Is it? Yeah. yeah, that's what you do as a John. M mo no, most of them stayed in Dovey. One of them went to Vizakli, <laughs> and two of them went to Skem. I'm loving the Invisalign. I'm enjoying it. I'm being a bit of a dick about it. And I'm going to enjoy lots of words over the next few months. And I get why you're sorting your teeth out. Don't go to Turkey to get fucking Turkish stronger. No, we just file them down. It's like a haircut for your teeth. <laughs> Don't do that. Do this. This is great. But saying Vizakli with Invisalign on is a very busy little thing. Vizakli? Vizakli. I think that's exactly what I meant. <laughs> Yeah, so two of them went to Skem, one of them went to Vazak, because uh, that's where his bird was from. Vazak? Yeah, so sure. Is that how you show it? Yeah. All oh, right. Or Zacho, depending on which one. Zacho? Yeah. Fucking he's. Uh, where's John? Is he in Zacho or Skem Skem? No, you have to be from Vazak. That's lengthens it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the fuck. You have to be from Two of my dad's brothers did all right. One of them went to Chillwall to be the fucking king of the fires, and the other one went, uh, one went over the water. I don't know which bit of the widow, but. Uh, to Ireland. No, <laughs> no right, America. Oh, America! <laughs> Big bit of water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he's in a uh, Brombra or something. I can't remember. Brombra Rake. Brombro. Br Brombra. Brombra. Oh, you yeah. mean the Mid Wirral? Mm. His name's Pedro. And you know, <laughs> he isn't lying. And then I was blown my no. mind as well. <laughs> no, your nan did not have three kids. Call one Mick. One John and the other Pedro. <laughs> I've never asked you me why. Nan, me nan had eight kids. Oh, here we go. I've <laughs> never asked you why. That. What? I've always wondered that. So me nan had eight kids. And he's... Sit down, boys. Sit no, down. Man. I've got a dream for one of you. I don't expect the world, seven. but one day one of you will get all the way to Chillwall and have a front fucking drive. It's not going to be you, Scotty Pedro, way. you weird little cunt. <laughs> now he's in Bromber. I don't know whether it's seven or eight. So there's me dad, Mick. Mike, Michael to his friends. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he wasn't called Mick as a kid, was he? You've got to, you got to have pubes minimum before someone calls you Mick. Little You've Mick. got to be an apprentice or at least like a qualified tradesman to Join be called up. Mick. There's me Auntie Carol. <laughs> Everyone's got an Auntie Carol. I live with me Auntie Carol for a bit. I know you do. Head of a woman. Uh, there's me Auntie Maisie, Sorry. the poker player. It's, honestly, my favorite family member by a fucking mile. Yeah. Uh, there's me Auntie Sandra. Nice. She's dead. Um. Uh, yeah. Died in a fire. <laughs> Where was John on that one? <laughs> well, um, I think she was a, a an alcoholic. My mum. I think, oh, and that's on the other side of the family. It's, I'm riddled with it. The fact that I only have 28 Guinness a week <laughs> is actually a result. <laughs> uh, there's my auntie Philomena. No! <laughs> no, that wasn't. And your uncle Steve Coogan. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Is your auntie Dame Judy Dench? Uh, no, her name's Philomena. We right. know Philomena listens to the pod. What? Yeah. Philomena. But she's, she's called uh, Mina for short. Yeah, Mina. And I would say she's one of Dracula. Mina's of Dracula. Yeah. Then there's my uncle Barney. <laughs> he's not like these aren't lies. <laughs> I wish they were. <laughs> he's a dinosaur. And my uncle John. And yeah. the eighth one is he was his name's Richard, but he's known as Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, keep fucking shitting out these kids, picking names as an absolute swat. We're going to have a little fucking Ricky. Want to call him Dicky? Call him Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing that, Dan? I don't give a fuck. 
I'm just making it up as I go along. Why are you called <laughs> Nan when you're just a mum? Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> I've so many kids, I'll definitely be a Nan. I never, right. met, I never met me Nan. Auntie Phil. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Eight fucking kids. I never met me Nan. I met me granddad. My Nan was dead before I was born. Yeah, she, she fucking knackered. Yeah. 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 <laughs> A lot of dead women due to the old oh. booze in my family. <laughs> Don't worry, you're a man. <laughs> Absolutely fine. And that's why men rule the world. Because the female alcoholics keep dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Uh, my, my dad had... Here we go, guys. <laughs> Here we go. Finn's on fine form this week. Did mushrooms with me in Amsterdam. And he's coming out with corkers. If you want to see the best form Finn has ever been on, sign up to patreon.com and slash have a word pod and watch Finn come out of his little Welsh shell. Go uh, on, Finn. My dad... So I've never met this person. My mum's recounted this story to me. Had a friend when he was growing up hmm. um, called Fatima. That's the first name. But the surname was Cunt. So the, and the, the shortened version of Fatima is fatty. So. <laughs> no, no, your dad's friend wasn't called fat cunt. Fatty cunt. Oh, sorry, fatty cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Was it a woman? Do they know though? No, I Do don't know think so. Do you know what I mean? So. Do they know what that means? No, so I'm pretty sure. That, uh, <laughs> is that a woman's name, isn't it? Fatima? Fat, yeah, Fatima. Fatty Fatima cunt. Cu fatty cunt, yeah. So it's a. Uh, Cunt is a Turkish uh, surname. It means strong or durable. <laughs> it's so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Fat cunt. Oh, you made them down the pub. And then on my mum's side. There's <laughs> <laughs> uh, <it's> my auntie, <laughs> so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, give my regards to Fatty Cunt. <laughs> I will. Yeah? yeah? Can we get a picture of her? No? Okay, you've not got a picture. <laughs> Um, I have give, got a picture. Yeah? yeah. Oh, you've got a picture of Fatty Cunt. Probably, yeah. yeah. And give my regards to all your dead relatives. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal work. <laughs> fucking Zacho, mate. Yeah, yeah. He got out of the fucking ghetto. I was born. He's right? in fucking You were Fazo. born exactly, weren't you? What? No, I was born in the, the font. Women's? In the font. Oh, be before it was the font. You were born in the women's hospital? No. What? There's a pub called the font. I was born it's in a, the... It's a student it's, pub. It's up by the students, bit. I was born in the font. You were born in an It's a Scream pub? <laughs> what? No, that's not far from the Scream. Yeah. Why were you born in the font? It used to be a hospital. <laughs> oh, thank <laughs> God. How much of an alcoholic was your fucking mum? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Anne, you gotta go now. You've been in labour for 12 <laughs> hours. Well, someone's just brought around. <laughs> nah, there you go. Oh, Four slots of shite. <laughs> there he is. Call there him Vinny is. until I'm sober. <laughs> I was Lisa. There he is. What? I was Lisa for about a day. What? What? Yeah, I was called Lisa. For How like... small is your dick? No, I was born. Mum's on the happy jaw. She like, she knows she's having a boy or a girl, but she thought she was having a boy. One of them women thing. Intuition. So she'd name me. No, sorry, she thought she was having a girl. So she's like, she's oh. called a scan. <laughs> Go on. Um, so she's like, oh, you've had a... A, a boy, but she was that fucked off the epidural. She went, oh, Lisa. Went, no, you've had a boy. She was like, Lisa. So she put me down in the thing, and I was just Lisa for ages. Yeah, because she, she was absolutely high as a kite Popped off essentially off heroin. Yeah, so I was, I've been Lisa for a little bit of my life. I was going to be Kiara if I was a girl. It's not even a name, is it? What? I was going to be Kiara. What's Kiara? Kiara. Kiara. Like, similar Kiara. to Kiara. Ki a little Similar to Kiara, but uh, Kiara. Well, it's more similar to Kiora. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good bury that. <laughs> I was actually going to be called Umbongo. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the 80s. It was a bit different then. They were like, ah, this might seem racist. <laughs> nah. <laughs> look look at little Umbongo Nightingale. <laughs> Umbongo, Umbongo, they drink it in Preston. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because my mum was on smack as well. You're right, Norma, what do you want to call him? Umbongo. <laughs> she just wanted a drink. She just had a dry mouth. She's like, Umbongo! Do you know whether you had a name picked out for if you were a girl? Or did you know they were having a boy? Uh, I was going to be called uh, <laughs> Fatty Twat. <laughs> <laughs> Big divergence back to Dan, isn't it? <laughs> fatty twat all In time. a fatty twat. Or Daniel. No. 
Uh, no, I had no girl name picked out that I know about. My what was it like picking? My names dad's so for? misogynistic he wouldn't even accept that he was naming. No, I uh, I was going to be Nathaniel. Dad, dad, my dad really oh, wanted yeah. me to be called Nate Nathaniel, but Nathaniel Nightingale. My mum apparently vetoed it and went, "That's too fucking busy." That two ends. Yeah, two N. Yeah. <laughs> How long did it take to pick Etta and Jack's name? Because it took ages to pick Wallace's name, and he's a dog. Etta took ages. Etta took, look, we had to go through a whole process. Laura was really involved with it, and I thought I'd come up with Etta, and it turns out my sister's mate had had a daughter called her Etta. I'd heard that, forgotten about it, because it's not one of my sister's mates that I know dead well, and it had just been banging around in my head, and I was like, I like the name Etta, and it just, we had a list of about five names, and it, all the other ones were just, you basically tick off the names, if you've ever met a knobhead, if you were ever at school with one of these people, or if one of your mates that's too close Exes to you has got well. kids, you just, yeah, yeah. Porn stars You names. can't have ever fucked a, you know. So it's, so I was like, oh, I've come up with that. And apparently when my sister's mate found out that we'd called Etta, Etta, she was like, my sister could see the annoyance in her face, like, you've nicked the name. Uh, we whittled it down, but it was me that pushed for Etta. With Jack, we couldn't think of any other names. It wasn't, there wasn't any others in the fucking, yeah. So Do it I just, have to know the names of the people I've slept with to veto them? Or like, can I just not call my daughter that girl from Nottingham that time? <laughs> <laughs> that, that pushy one from Heebie Jeebies. <laughs> Hello, Pop World Brighton Road. <laughs> <laughs> the girl from Nottingham is real as well, and I pretended to be racist so that I could sleep with her. There's, a, there's, a, there's yeah. an app now. Um, someone I know is get a, uh, having a kid, and there's an app where you and your partner... How, it's like Tinder and you swipe yeah. on the names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen Did it. Did you do that? Oh, that's a good idea, that. Yeah. yeah. I've so, already got my names picked out. So you end up with the matches. Yeah. Yeah. What are your names? I mean, you could have just a fucking Vinny conversation. Vinny's a boy. Really? I do actually want to call me a boy. Are you yeah. really Vincent. going Vinny? I, I'd, 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 if I had a boy, I'd like to, yeah. Vincent, Vincent. but Vinny. He yeah, would yeah. be called Vinny. And then Eliza for the girl. Eliza. Oh. From Go Hamilton. The fucking... Oh. Uh, why don't you just call it Hamilton Row? <laughs> It'll sound like a <laughs> oh, fucking yeah. street. <laughs> Hamilton Row, yeah, yeah. Lived there for Can't six years. Can't get the Amazon truck down there. <laughs> Fucking nightmare. Hamilton, twenty-eight pints and of Guinness. Row. Oh, Do no. you know what I found out last night? So pints of Guinness guys. is fifteen sins. That means you only allowed one a day. All oh, right. So you'd be fucked on Slim and World. Yeah, but you can have four a day. Here's the update. Here's the update. Carl, <laughs> Sensei Carl, who is a grown ass man. <laughs> And I mean that literally, has started Slimming World. And we are here to support him. <laughs> <laughs> Starting it with Seneca, not off my own, uh, own volition. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going because my bird's going. <laughs> just keeping her company. I'm just watching my, you know, How calories. was your first meeting? Um, <laughs> fun. <laughs> what happened? Was it last night? Yeah. <laughs> Did you weigh in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your um, way? Did you twat someone else that was weighing in? Like, no, we because we were new weighing in at the end. And oh, they never right. say your weight. They only say whether you've put on or lost. So even if, so when you go to the meeting, even if you've put on, they're like, John, you've put six pounds on. What happened, lad? Yeah, they don't. So they don't shout your weight out. No. I don't think a lot of people who go to those Slimming World meetings... If Do like, they not tell you your weight? Yeah. You, yeah. S you so can you see go, it. But then they go, right, Sandra, you've lost three pounds. And goes, whoa! <laughs> How are you feeling? You know, I'm all right. I had that cake on Tuesday, but I'm all right. You know, I'm on my period. Yeah. <laughs> it's I'm Star sorry. Week. Yeah, that's what they call your period. Um, star the men get that as is well. Is that what that means? Yeah, the yeah. men star get star week. Hang on, I should get no. star week. Why, Why when, not? When Purple you pick, star week. What? For what? I have loads of shits. But right. That's a great. Why if don't you men have... get star week? Because you don't have a menstrual cycle. Doesn't matter. We have a... no, that's not that's... equality. Ah, that's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> you women having periods. Why can't I have a fucking star week? I've got IBS. It's close. <laughs> Mate, you, you want to have IBS at Slim World. I've had the shits all week. Wow. <laughs> Lucky you. No, Someone... but it's a constant, isn't it? It's not like once once a month I have a shift for a week, and then I lose all the weight that week. It's like my baseline is pooing all the time. Yeah. It's a constant star a... week. Can I just tell you, you're an angel. <laughs> <laughs> Someone lost eight and a half pounds. What? In one week, and you were abbing that well. What? Yeah, because she's been on heroin. Me. Yeah. <laughs> what have you been doing there, Sue? Smack. It's <laughs> working a fucking street. Uh, but yeah, they're all. They're all lovely ladies. I was the only man. I love it when you say lovely ladies because I never believe you. <laughs> no, they were. They, were, they all, were all lovely ladies. They were all exactly what you'd imagine. Yeah. Any, Fat. Any really young ones. Sorry. 
be the youngest. I was the youngest. Are you? Because it, it, it's not a daytime Slimming World meeting. I no, imagine it was, uh, evenings are a bit... You're a day older than Celica, so you weren't the youngest. Okay, then. I was, we were the youngest people. That's a very valid point. I'm glad you took it. Um. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was interesting. It was, like, it, it was funny to sit and watch... But then it's also quite wholesome because these people are just trying to help, like, change. Is sick. there anyone who's, like, beyond repair there? Is there anyone who's just, like, an orca? Um, were there any orcas? I mean, no, not, like, not an actual orca, like someone as big as one. No, but they were all doing well. You know what I mean? Like, the, Was the, there a shame? The lady who lost eight and a half pounds. Yeah. Had eight and a half pounds to lose. What did you do different, Sue? I stopped drinking uh, two litre bottles of Coca-Cola every four hours and the weight is dropping off me. Yeah? Apparently, if I don't eat a full trifle at midnight, I can lose weight. God, really well done, Mandy. You've done really well. Slimmer of the week, Mandy. And she's saving 36 quid a week on trifle. <laughs> she's only got three teeth and a fucking head. <laughs> I'll grow them back. But if you did, that'd be extra weight. Do you get to the middle of the week for losing the most weight or losing the most potent like what? You know what I mean? What? Potential. And only like ratio. Like if you're 50 stone when you come in, you've lost seven stone in a week. <laughs> you're gonna smoke everyone, aren't you? No, right. if you're 50 stone and you lose right six pounds, that's not as impressive as someone who's like 12 stone losing five. I think it is. Um I think it is because the, the girl who got slim of the week didn't lose the most weight. Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right. So I think it was. I think it's based on loads of different. Factors. I imagine it's very supportive, and I'm glad they don't shout out the weight. No, and it was that great. would be really it, bad, like, wouldn't it? It's wholesome because they're all like they all, like they all genuinely supportive. You're like, well done, you fucking, you look great. Yeah. And I'm sitting there like having a little bit of a giggle because it's a bit of an odd situation. When I'm like, oh, this is the nice. Yeah. But I yeah. might come with you next week. No, you won't. <laughs> Why? You won't. Why? Okay, then, yeah, come with me. It's in. Robert. Do you know why you can't go with him? It's in Robert Because right, you bring out the worst in him. <laughs> <laughs> no, like last I, night, he's well, there with Sarah I reject that. He oh. brings out the worst in me. You bring out the worst in each other. No, yeah. I'm, an, I'm a good person. You Van are. The Van Gogh you Museum. are. But when you two are together, you are such naughty little cunts. <laughs> and, and Carl has that evil look in his eyes. When he's with Sarah, yeah, they were all lovely ladies. And, you know. She had eight and a half pounds to lose, and that's as far as I'll go. You two together, like, <laughs> bonus! Like, <laughs> it would be so brutal. I can't see myself getting a bonus in the world. don't know. But me and Sarah could have made it competitive now, so I've got to do it. What? We've made it competitive. Wow. Oh, so, you'll smoke here. I don't know. We do yesterday. I, I told you what yesterday is, haven't I? What? We, what yesterday. When, 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 if it's your yesterday, whatever you say the other person has to do. To a level, obviously. Like, when you sit watching a telly or a film, it's the film you want to watch. The tea is what you pick. You do with that day what you want to do. So, like, do you do this with Sarah Kerr? Yeah. And you honor it? Yeah. So, can oh, you go to where I go and make a cup of tea? Yeah. And she has to say, yeah. Oh, my God. How far have you pushed that? I haven't. I've just, yeah, been Go and sit in the garden for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's my day. <laughs> it's, what it's, I cold. From that? it's cold. It's <laughs> cold. Peace. <laughs> just the, the evil comes out. It's good though. It's it's a good thing to do. Go and get me a surprise from the shed. <laughs> the shed? I thought you were going to say the shop. Trowel. <laughs> well, to be honest, Seneca, I saw that coming. <laughs> Work harder. Yeah. So whoever loses the most weight gets that week's yesterday. You aiming to get to regionals? Yeah. How about I do worlds? What, what do you mean regionals? There's like conferences of like best <laughs> losers. Just for context, so everyone, uh, Finn. Has been going to Slimmer Mill since he was nine. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not even messing. Uh, Krill Fire Station. <laughs> Some woman lost 31 stone. That's a big, I, that's I a mean, big week, isn't it? <laughs> she had 31 stone yeah. to lose. Well, right. she isn't now one stone. All oh, right, she's not dead. She's no. not been decapitated. She's now like right. 15 stone. This is right. the Mike do. No, no, this no. Is like, uh, she's like the champ. She's like the heaviest yeah, yeah, I yeah. ever was was 16 and a half. So she was like, basically, she lost two of me at my biggest. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Good God. Like she was basically, it was either lose this or die. And How is that possible? Like yeah, right now, I eat a lot. Like even when I'm like not that fat, I eat a lot. How much have you got to be eating to maintain that? Yeah. You, you eat a lot on Slimming World, don't the thing. It's not like you eat less. It's just how you... Just being That's smart. Channel 5 documentary big, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. This is a 31 stone person. Yeah. <laughs> 
lot. So she this lost lady him. Lost the, him. Out of the pocket. Look how good he looks. Good on you. Good on you, fella. Oh yeah, but everyone... also if you don't want to lose weight, don't fucking lose weight. Do you? Yeah, Do yeah, you? Totally. But I'd say, I'd suggest if you're at the thirty-one stone level, maybe cut down on if the you've old got snackers family, next. You're, bigger, then you're gonna lose. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna. And as Russell Kane said, it's not actually your fault if you're fat. It's because you're Irish. <laughs> Or Polynesian, <laughs> yeah. which I am. <laughs> you say when you go in, are you Irish? And you go, yeah, and you go, oh, They call me the Albino Polynesian. Yeah. Who? They. <laughs> you know them? Um, I'm just, I was dreading anybody recognising me. Luckily, nobody did. Um, what? I didn't want oh, you mean from the podcast? <laughs> Not <for> Polynesian people. <laughs> But, um, An awkward selfie. I said I want to look good for the red carpet. No, no, I said I want to look good for this date, 17th of February. She went, oh, if you're a special... I was like, yeah, I just want to look good for that date. And said, I went, yeah, he's on Channel 4. I was like, thanks. Thanks for that. She said, oh my God, are you famous? I was like, nope. Let's stop talking about this now. Go and vote for us, because skinny, skinny Carl needs to get on Channel 4 to accept an award. And when I'm hungry, I'm worse. I'm hoping to lose three and a half stone by the time that the awards come around. Three weeks. Yeah. Yeah, some of the big boys are pushing for it, so we need. Oh yeah, all the help. it's it's proper in it. This isn't one you you get nominated. There's for an advert the start of the episode, but do us a favor, just pause it now, and just go and to oh, vote. Have three times on three different emails now. Go on, just let us win. It'd be dead good. It'd be chaos if we win. We'll yeah. bring down the entire monarchy. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, all of Adam's living aunties and uncles could vote now, we're, we're fucking shooing, aren't we? It's fourteen thousand votes right there. <laughs> Just vote like three times. Sally makes the vote three times, and then there's six votes. She's got more than one. Yeah, it'd be nice to uh, to smash it. Well, good luck on your weight loss journey. And I'll say this, Carl: I've never ever thought you needed to do it. And if uh, you choose to do it, we'll we'll support you. And also, be knobheads about it and take the piss a bit. Sure. But underline that is a lot of support. I'll Please don't lose any weight from that phenomenal. Badonka donk that you're. I'll update you every week. On that my dump. Truck. Your face is always skinny, innit? Even when you put weights on. Yeah. You've got like a thin face. You always look like a water balloon. My weight goes on my ass and my legs. <laughs> my fat and my cock. Hmm. Oh, God, it'd be so good if you could put weight on in your cock. You can put weight on in your cock. What? You can. What? When you, like, you put weight on. Is there a specific food that you put? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I just get that chubby mons pubis. <laughs> no. Cadbury's winders. Cadbury's winders. What are they? Fruit Fruit winders. Winders. Curly whirlies. Yeah. What? <laughs> Eat them, you get a fuck. I'm, I'm actually having a really great cock day today. I've been for two pisses and it feels like I've got a fucking... I thought that this morning. Oh. It's not you know, that there's cold. There's just a bit of weight to your dick. No. I know what you mean. <clears throat> and, even, and it was cold this morning as well. I was like, oh, I'm going to be struggling here. And I, I got it out and I was like, fucking hell. Like post-sex dick. Yeah. yeah. Oh, post-sex dick. <laughs> Mate, I want to go oh. out in the garden. Like, I'm just going, hey, look, this is what it always looks like. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm having a really good cock day. I'm having a terrible cock day. Oh, yeah. Mine's look, it looks like a bruised mushroom. Oh. <laughs> Not good. Not what good. What kind of mushroom? What kind of mushroom? Portobello. One that's been in the bottom of the fucking Button. packet. <laughs> Button. The only thing I can say mine looks like right now is it looks like a dildo. <laughs> what? I know that sounds mad. Go but like, dildo. dildos like look like good cocks, don't they? And I've got oh, a good cock. Yeah, them. yeah, yeah. Where's the stuff also, on? the people who are like, we've got a mould oh, of yeah. so-and-so's cock. Let's just have what someone envisages is a nice cock. I don't need a mould of an actual cock. But let's make a nice, artificially no, nice I, one. No. And you think yours looks looks like that? You, you surely understand getting a mould of a cock. Like, if you're a woman. If you fancy someone. Like, if I was going to use a fleshlight, I would get a, a fleshlight of someone I fancied. Fancy? Back in year 12? <laughs> I, just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Right. You need to stick a fake dick in, you know? Just, just go yeah, for but it. Like, like someone's like... Oh, my God. Don't do that. What? What was that? That's how women <laughs> fuck themselves, isn't it? National Comedy Awards. <laughs> Buckle up, cunts. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. I shouldn't have to say this, but I will. <laughs> What's wrong with that? What are they fucking themselves in? In the... Pussy. It's up. <laughs> Where's your pussy hole? No, oh, because it's got oh, like a bend it? on the... It's like a hook. Finn's <laughs> face. Look at Finn's face. <laughs> yeah. He could have been a hairdresser. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, uh. Listen, I shouldn't have to say this, but we've been to Amsterdam and we bought gifts 
for the podcast. Can you, yeah. on this is things said at work, can you make sure that that eight inch dildo doesn't just get left in your flat? Strap can on. you have a strap on? Sorry, strap, strap on. on. Can you bring the strap oh, it's on? It's in your bag, innit? And I put it in your bag trying to get your nicked, and they've got fucking, you got away with it. Mm. That yeah. really didn't work. No. I put also, else oi, got oi Manchester, Liverpool Airport, chill the fuck out. <laughs> Look at Amsterdam. I'm like, yeah, you know, people drink water. You can, it's not a bomb. It's uh, 200 milliliters of Evian. <laughs> Stick it in the bag. I don't give a fuck. I put a, a bottle of water. Try and film on the train. And a hollow <laughs> strap on dildo up. in my bag. <laughs> I put a, a bottle of water and an 8 inch strap on dildo in Adam's bag. Yeah. Thinking he's going to get nicked for the water. They're going to see the dick. A lot of tea will ensue. All right. Amsterdam airport. I couldn't give a fuck. Oh, yeah, come through, come through. Of course. 8 inch dildo and then refreshments for after you use it. <laughs> Are you German? Yeah. We all got stopped and I had nothing in my bag. Mr. fucking John Dildo over here flew through. He was like, could you open this up? Maybe they were suspicious of you for not bringing any sex toys back. Yeah, like that's what it is. Ah. Uh, can I ask you a question? How long have you been here? Three days? Uh, there's no sex toys in here. <laughs> What's going on, man? It's fucking weird. <laughs> that Syrian guy, he's buying an 18 strap on. That's normal. That's good. It's good. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> I want a coffee and a kebab. I can't leave. You want to come at quarter to twelve I've in the morning? Lunch. lunch Finn, time. I'm what? Turkish and that's too much. Oh, that's an insult. That. Finn. Oh, you're a vegan. That's why. I'm not a vegan. I'm veggie. I'm veggie. No, same no, fucking just, tomato, 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 tomato. Can I just say he's not a vegan or a veggie? Really, he's just got fucking out of his head on pot and then a fucking kebab chatted to him. You're not a vegan or a vegetarian. You're just scared of your food. I did some pot jokes last night. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he can't man. Be in pot. He's a potman. Yeah. He's a potman. He's a potman. Never talk about my kebabs before midday. What's that about? Eleven forty five. It's a perfectly good time. It's it's too early for a kebab. No, it isn't. It's lunchtime. It's not. It's too early for a kebab. A no, it's quarter heavy. to twelve now. By the time we've gone and got it, it'll be after twelve, it'll be lunchtime. So shut your fucking It's seven PM somewhere, yeah. Finn. A kebab earliest, three o'clock. That's that's just... Who's having lunch at three o'clock? That's what I mean. A kebab is a heavy, heavy food. No, fuck off, mate. You don't know what you're on about. In Abu Dhabi, it's quarter four. Not your one. Your but one's fine. French your fries? Little, your little shish is fine. Shish that's, chicken yeah, kebab, chicken I think it's pretty healthy. Shish is fine. Kabul. But Donna is heavy. Why don't you kiss my fucking gooch? No, I will not. <laughs> it wasn't an actual invite, Finn. <laughs> Come on. It's, okay, it's we're gonna have a break now. Down. We're gonna have a break now. Um, Lick the fucking mons pubis above my cock. <laughs> That's how much I respect your opinion. <laughs> You'll let you do oh, that. Uh, no, you can stay on. No tribunals. The VAR, the mons pubis line. Play on. Imagine if you worked in an office and someone who worked for you <laughs> said, uh, "Just got a suggestion. Just so you know, hey uh, boss." Kebabs really heavy at this time of day. Like, don't really want to be eating that till at least three o'clock, really. Why don't you kiss my gooch, Linda? <laughs> no tight you, dog. Suck my mons. <laughs> Why don't you lick the mons pubes above my cock? Back to work. Love you, Finn. <laughs> but you're wrong. What's happening, lids? It is time to tell you about Dan's absolute favorite right, sponsor. Okay. It's Calm. Calm.com. Do you have anxious thoughts, Adam? You know I have anxious thoughts. If I get an itchy elbow, I think I've got brain cancer. <laughs> Are you restless at night? I, well, yeah. No, I, my sleeping pattern at the minute is absolutely horrific, and I've actually started using meditation to get me to sleep, and now they're getting in touch. Now they're sponsoring the podcast. That's perfect. It's brilliant, isn't it? Calm helps you stress less, sleep more, and live a happier, healthier life. Their guided meditations, sleep stories, relaxing music tracks, and daily movement sessions are all designed to give you the tools to improve the way you feel. Over 100 million people what? around the world use Calm. That's like Anfield. Even if you've never meditated before, you'll get the support you need to reduce stress, improve focus, and uplift your mood. The sleep stories help you drift off quickly to recharge your brain. And they're also great for getting kids to calm their minds at night so you can rest assured oh that they're getting the sleep they need. If you go to calm.com slash word, that's W-O-R-D, uh, you'll get a special offer of 40% off a Calm premium subscription and new content is added every week. So relax, Calm's got everything you need for a happier and a healthier you. That's a well-written ad copy. That. For listeners of the show, Calm is offering an exclusive offer of 40% off a Calm premium subscription at calm.com slash word. Go to calm.com slash word for 40% off unlimited access to Calm's entire library. That's calm.com 
slash word. Do you wonder, I wonder if the advert picked up Carl laughing, laughing in the background. Yeah. He's laughing because he's editing today's episode, not at the advert. It works with kids, this. <laughs> I've got kids. They need to sleep. I'm signing up. I'd love a kip. <laughs> um, hello, lids. I guess you weren't expecting this, but here we are. Basically, what has happened is I've messed up. I've handed Adam the wrong card on his way out to a gig. And we have lost the main shot for the second part of this episode. Uh, the rest of the episode is fully intact and it's one of our best ever. But I've dropped the bollock here and I can only apologize. I can only apologize for that despite the booing. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry about this. Audio is is fine as, as uh, per usual. But the video, uh, the main shot of Adam and Dan won't be in this second section. Hope you can forgive me. Do you know what? I'm sick of I'm sick of taking the blame here. This was actually Peter's fault and I had nothing to do with what? it. What? Get fucked! It was absolutely Finn's fault, and I'm not taking the blame for fucking nothing. Never liked reptiles anyway. You fucking tit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you are right. <laughs> Yeah, and I <laughs> say it again. Oh. Hey. All right, we're the we're a new band, my granddad's prolapse, and this is our song. <laughs> That's this week's music, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've my granddad's prolapse. prolapse. That's a name for the band. <laughs> it's usually Labrador prolapse. <laughs> my granddad's. <laughs> Why do you only boom me when you're high? Yeah. Boom, boom, uh, Dan, boom. Have you any boom. questions from our dear oh, listeners? Oh, fucking. Uh, uh, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just check how Are the special's doing. Week? Very well. Let's check how it's doing. Because it's out now. If you're not going to watch it, go. Dan's special, bloody out, mate. Hey. He's fucking out. He's here. It's in the ether. Smash it's on a it. server that will outlast humanity. 3,000 views. Well, I'm the, I'm the new Shane Gillis. What's, what's he on? 8.9 million. Cool. <laughs> See you in two months. It's only been out an hour. Yeah, I expect it's only it. early. I expect it's only more. early. I expect it more. Early. What are the patrons doing? Working. You have another bonus to celebrate tonight? Oh, I might do a nasty poo poo. No, it's done 4,200. All oh, right, stop lying then. And at this point, Adams have done 6,000, so you know. Oh, there you go. Oh, fucking yeah. give yourself some fucking credit, mate. I'll take that. Give yourself some that. credit. I'll take that. Um, but yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, that's not a metric that I'll be comparing myself <laughs> with. Why? Fucking oh, fucking. Why bit. can't you do 100k Billy. in the first eight days? Stop, stop being supportive by being mean to me. <laughs> no, you will do 100k in the first eight All days. All right, I'll try. <laughs> you need to try as hard as he has. Not be like, oh, please, on Instagram. I think if the traveller community get hold of it, it's going to do some views. <laughs> do you want me to give it to them? Not all good I know a couple of travellers. Do you? Yeah. Huh? I'm going travelling quite a lot this year. No, I don't think he means oh, that. Oh, okay. Backpacking. <laughs> I think he means. Are you having a gap year? I'm having a gap year whilst also working. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing a gap year's worth of travelling whilst gigging. Gap year. I'm having a working sabbatical. So. Did you have a gap year done? The reason I'm doing it is because I want to. I want stuff to happen to me so I can talk about it on stage. Exactly. You, babe, you got to live your life. So I'm and going to Mexico tax. and I'm staying in the jungle. Then it's fucking taxable, mate. Scoot. <laughs> can we. <laughs> Charlie's lost that. You know what? You going to Mexico and staying where? We're staying in the jungle. Mm. In the beach jungle? No. Oh, you're just getting in the jungle. In the actual Mexican jungle. Oh, the Mexican jungle. <laughs> it's like there's like huts that you can stay in. A yeah. huts. And this is in Mexico. Yeah. Okay. Mexican jungle. Yeah, central, good band. Central America. Yeah. Mexican jungle. Yeah, they're a good yeah. band. We're uh, Mexican jungle huts, <laughs> and this is my granddad's prolapse. <laughs> Thanks to Zane Lowe for playing this. It's a very remixed song, though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> very covered. <laughs> That's a bit derivative. The Mexican jungle <laughs> <laughs> uh, We are the new band uh, Working Sabbatical. And this is my granddad's prolapse. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my granddad's gap year. About to change the name of the song because he died. Didn't you have a gap year, Dan? No. Do what? Did you gap year? Gap here. Gap here. Did you have a gap here? No, because um, I was at uni, uh, went to a comedy club and went, this is the best thing I've ever seen and I want to be in these places as much as humanly so possible. I did. <laughs> it's just, I, I walked in with Carrie Baker Sharman. Thank you, um, slightly posh girl from London who I was dating at the time. She was like, I think you'd love like a she comedy club. She sounds fit, eh? Sharman. 
Carrie Baker Sharman. She was a genuinely lovely person. CBS. Very attractive. CBS. And yeah. uh, that lasted six weeks. Now and she owns a new channel. She's fucking raking me yeah. on him. And she took me to a comedy club. She'd never been to comedy before that. I'd been to see Peter K at the Charter Theatre in Preston, which was the tour that became Top of the Tower, or was Top of the Tower. And I thought was comedy that? was done by demigods. Because if you're in a room of 900 people and you're watching Peter Kay, I, I don't give a fuck what you think about Nana Wants a Bungalow or all of that shit. That stand-up, when I was 18, was the best shit I'd ever seen. <laughs> and I was like, well, you can't do this because you have to be a god to be able to do this. And then you went. I went in a comedy club. And I although, did a similar thing. Yeah, but Dave I, Jones oh was god, amazing. You've got to be a god to do this. I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oy. Great. I will start Samuel. in 900 seat theatres. <laughs> And I went to see Dave. D Dave Johns was hosting the night where I went to the Hyena oh, Comedy Club. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Fucking wasted. <laughs> Matchbox boy. Um, and Dwarf I was like, oh, yeah, he's, he's a genius. And then I saw two acts be pretty average and thought, oh, fuck, I can do this. Yeah. I could give this a go. But it was being in a comp. So where does a gap year come then? I was like, I don't need a gap year. I need to do this. Even if they like a bit of travel, no. No, uh, over Christmas, that was the most time I've had not gigging. From the arena to the Comedians Co uh, Club Chester on the 14th of January, I had five weeks without gigging. And that's the longest I've ever gone without gigging. I think two and a half weeks was the longest in 21 Apart years. Apart from COVID, obviously. Oh, of course. We don't talk about that, though, do we? I genuinely... You I've, forget it happened, don't you? Yeah. No, it's not, <laughs> it's not that I've forgotten it's happened. It's because that was enforced. Yeah. I didn't, like, we weren't allowed to gig. But I think because we podcasted a lot and then did <laughs> online gigs, I've almost, like, blocked that out, of course. But, like, of my own volition, that's the longest. I didn't want to ever take a gap year. Travel but I know straight. exactly what Rose's saying. This is doing nicely. Stand-up's got... I was worried that coming back after such a long break, I'd be rusty. Fuck, I've been having great gigs. The second one last night was uh, doing new material down at the Jacaranda. And I was having the best time. I'll so it's done me good a little you, gap. When I started here, you'd fallen out of love with comedy a little bit. I was falling out of love with the circuit. Yeah, you were like, yeah, I remember you going, you weren't looking forward to gigs. Uh, that was po That was after the Just, first yeah, lockdown, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I was rusty then. That had been a fucking, but it also, uh, it's just a rough year for everyone, wasn't it? Like it, it Coming out of those lockdowns, there was a lot of pressure. Like I was putting so much energy into this because I saw what this could do for us and me. And uh, I, some of the gigs were just a bit shit, like because of the seating restrictions. And th it wasn't just that I wasn't enjoying stand up. It's just gigs were a bit manic, weren't they? Like some were amazing. Some felt really like illicit and almost like like speakeasies, like, fuck it, we're doing it. And others was like, can you sit down, please? Oh my God, you're walking the wrong way. You've got to wear a mask if you stand up. Shut the fuck off. It just made it eggy. I, uh... I got the, con like, it built up towards the tour. I was having a great time. Mm. And I, and, and, but before COVID, I know he's coming in with a line. Which <laughs> I'm I not. He is. I'm not. But I had fallen out of love with the circuit because I'd just done it to death. And, and, Doing one man shows is amazing, but I also think this year getting back on the circuit doing a set will be great fun because I'm not overdoing it, I'm not relying on it. I can't wait to get back on the circuit for a bit. Um, Adam, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I agree, yeah, 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 with all of it, yeah. Well, thank you very much. I'm gonna do my gap year when my kids go to uni, like a real one. I'm gonna go and find myself, little Vinny, in the Ivory Coast out back. Oh, the Ivory the Coast Outback. How old are you going to be? If you have kids next year, you're still going to be pushing no, I 50. Reckon we're looking five, six years before I have a little toddler. Early 50s. Yeah. Gap year. In yeah. the Ivory Coast. Go take, <laughs> take an ayahuasca. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Who's he? <laughs> hey. What does ayahuasca do? Just send you it's to It's DMT, a, but uh, a bevy, it's bevy a bevy instead. Yeah. Instead, of, instead of potting it up, you bevy it. It's oh. true. Oh, really? Yeah. That's, that's, to pop that's, I, I don't like, expect them to. I don't like hot beverages. It's a DMT baby. Carl yeah. Donnelly told us about it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ayahuasca yeah. in the Iv Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire, the Ivory Coast, yeah. the outback. There is an outback of the Ivory Coast. I've checked. What have you been doing? Like fucking sniffing encyclopedias? What's going no, on? No, I want to go traveling more, don't I? So you looked at the Ivory, the Coast. Ivory Coast and the <laughs> Mexican jungle. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm actually staying in the Mexican jungle as much as you don't believe that. Um, 
I thought you were having a beach holiday. It's not too far from the beach. You can do both. The jungle beach? Yeah. Right. <laughs> the mangroves? Can you you can't stay in fucking right, right in the middle of the jungle. You stay sort of like a couple of miles in. You know what I mean? Cool. You can't stay fucking 30 miles into the jungle because then there's pumas who are going to fucking kick your head in. Pumas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've seen a puma in Costa Rica. So Is he all right? It was, it was the puma all right? It was fine. Yeah? Oh, you seen a puma? Yeah, in Costa Rica. A puma? Below me. You fucked a puma? No, I was on a, a rope. Not a rope. A bridge. R- rope bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a lie. It's not. <laughs> I can't wait for you to not die and come back and tell the story. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Doing a lot of traveling first half of the year. Second half of the year, I'm going to be a lot busier at work, but I'm still going to try and do a bit. I want to go and see the Northern Lights in December. Yeah. Cool. In the outback? <laughs> no. In a hut? Tromso. Tromso? Norway. Yeah. 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 Did they play Champions League football at some point, Tromso? Yeah. yeah. Traveling is the key to happiness, I think. It's what I want to spend all my money on. It's what I, it's, I'd say it's what my end. Mm. Like, I want to get successful so I can travel. Mm. Also, it, you, you know. I'd, I'd, I'd agree with that to a point and then come back with sitting on my fucking couch is nice as well. You can but sit bet, on a couch in another country. Yeah. I think you need a bit of both, don't you? Yeah, yeah. you do. Yeah. yeah. Sitting down is the best feeling in the world. Sitting down is the most underrated thing a, a man can do. Just having a sit. Like, just yeah. like, if you're like that. Just go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's underrated. Yeah. It is. No absolutely one's all. Like sitting just sitting down is up there with coming. Yeah, correct. No one talks about how good sitting is. Have you been in a shop for ages and you see a seat? You ever got in from doing a big shop and oh. instead of putting it all away straight away, you just have a sit for a minute? Yeah. Yeah. It's I feel li- like <laughs> underrated means that people are just aren't aren't into it. I no, no, like no, no. People people don't underrated don't means it. it's not rated properly. Yeah. It means it is rated lower than it deserves. Yeah. So I think everyone loves it. I think it's yeah. unanimous. No, but yeah, nobody like like it. Neymar. Neymar's underrated. Neymar's he's one of the highest paid footballers you on the planet. I think he's he is, overrated. Yeah. No, he isn't. He is. Yeah. He isn't. You're underrating him right now. Say Paul. I'm right. <laughs> Paul? Neymar, uh, Neymar is exactly rated. Sitting down, underrated. Yeah, no one goes, oh, the boss It's a new down, feature, underrated or overrated. All right, bananas. Um, Rated. I don't know. I don't think they're underrated bananas. I think they're overrated. They, it tastes like it tastes good, but the texture's not. Banana flavouring is massively Fire. overrated. Yeah. No, no, it's, it's overrated. massively overrated. Yeah. Heaviest, heaviest. Banana milkshake, honestly, should be banished. Yes, so I'm with you. Order. Order. Banished. No. Yes, banished banana milkshakes yes. from existence. It tastes yeah. like medicine. Strawberry flavoured things, Fire. overrated. No, no. Overrated. No. Utter Order. shite. Underrated. The only thing that should be fl- flavoured with strawberries is milkshake. Strawberry milkshake's fire. Yeah. Everything else is fucking shite. Strawberry, la- strawberry laces. What? Strawberry laces. No, ah! you're better having cherry laces. Or cola. Where are you get cherry There's- laces yeah. from? What? Where are you getting cherry laces from? The same from? places you get the strawberry ones from. Fizzy cola laces. Fire. Yeah. Unbelievable. Cherry f- cherry flavour. Cherry yeah. Flavor. Fire. Cherry. Fire. Fire. Underrated. Yeah. Underrated. Yeah. Yeah. The best flavour, the best two flavours of oh. anything sweet. Are black currants and raspberry like? Oh, you fucking eight year old! I'll lie. fight the black, lot of you, mate. Black, black, black currants and raspberry yeah. shit all over any wine name a fruit. Why is gum. that? Better. What you like the black wine gum? There's yeah, yeah. it's the best one. It's yeah. not the green they li- What? What all are you talking one. about? <laughs> green you all absolute red. sex offender. What did you say? Green the green red. wine no. gums. Get There's li- they literally. They literally shut up a minute. No, no, no. I'm not in you off with this wine gum shite, okay? <laughs> they literally made a pack of wine gums that just had the black and the red ones in because they're the two most popular ones. Yes. They fucked the green ones popular off with mean. the rest of the shite because oh. no one fucking likes them. Skittles, reds are the best. Bar none. Green, no, they're not. They're all the black the, no, the black the colour ones are the best ones. Oh, yeah. And there's no raspberry ones, but they would be the best ones. Did you try the Skittles that had no colours? Same yeah. flavours, no yeah. colours. I yeah, I don't that. like it. I don't yeah. like surprises. I didn't see it. It's on the packet. You're going to really enjoy the Mexican jungle then. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> off. Oh, All right, Dan, that go Puma on. didn't even say hello. Give me a fucking item. A flavour. Tell me what No, I said banana, not the flavour. Oh. The fruit. All right, okay. <laughs> oh, you're at... Uh, Cars. You're... <laughs> <laughs> Top five fruits. <laughs> <laughs> I will die on the hill. <laughs> Raspberry hill. No, give me, an, give me a thing. Uh, what, that's underrated? Oh no, just give me a, an item and we'll say over eight and under eight. <laughs> it's the new feature. Black Orange and Raspberry, by the way, I am right. Rugs. Um, I'm with you. Rugs? 
just get a proper carpet. Although, oh, no, I I love, I although a rug is a carpet that you can ruin and then roll up and was in the fucking tip. Exactly. A rug is a carpet you can move as well. Yeah, it has the motability of a the motability. <laughs> yeah, I love I love motorboats in rugs. <laughs> Just do me tits. Motability. What are you doing down there? Oh no, motability is the benefits you get, isn't it? If you can't walk, motor mobility. mobility. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> motor No, but that, there's also a side one of motability where they give you the free car, <laughs> <laughs> and there actually is. That's Bruce's place, is right? Because my mum's dead now, I can tell you the truth. Go on. What? So my mum was on mobility because she had a hysterectomy and got nerve damage in her leg. I don't know how they're connected, but that's what happened. <laughs> the pussy's connected to the leg, and she, and she never left the pub. <laughs> the leg bones connected to the. <laughs> Hysterectomy. <laughs> she got a hysterectomy. If you don't know what a hysterectomy is, I would not have guessed this was coming. <laughs> Literally, a minute before, we were like, no, lad, black hooded and raspberry. Anyway, <laughs> me ma's hysterectomy. <laughs> Overrated, underrated. <laughs> my ma's ma hysterectomy. My ma's hysterectomy. Great band. <laughs> They're fire. <laughs> They're fucking great. Yeah, They're from Barnsley. I'm going to pass out today. No, I swear to God. We've got Sean Walsh coming in as well. Uh, Nerd right. damage is a banger. Yeah. My mum had a hysterectomy. If you don't know what one of them is, it's where they take your fanny and make it unusable. Right? Wow. I think it's when Thank they remove you, something. Like, is it the womb? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Basically what it is. Oh, you yeah. still use it for fucking, but you can't make a baby with it anymore. Is that how she described it to you? I think so. It's your womb. <laughs> Yeah. They take you, they take, they your, take womb your womb out. out. They fucking lash that. They're like, get rid of that. Put a conservatory in. There you go. <laughs> right? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's funny things, right? Nice. Fuck <laughs> oh, okay, you know. You got a lovely the view. Man of the one of them. Doctor was fucking squatted. Posted off his squat. Accidentally stabbed her or something. Nerve oh, damage in her leg. Shit. Oh. She walked with a limp. I got bullied for it because people called me your ma's got a peg leg for years. Right? Oh, I never knew that. Do you know? I didn't know your mum with a limp. Well, I didn't advertise it because, you know, <laughs> it was enough with the kids in the streets shouting it at me. I didn't need everyone at dinner time at school. Cool. So she walked with a limp. Uh, this is before she had the bottom half of her right leg chopped off when she was in intensive <laughs> care. Um, so, why, why, why did I bring this up? <laughs> you talking about bananas? <laughs> no. <laughs> Should we just get a note out? <laughs> Mobility. Oh, oh yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, it's not looking she good. She couldn't work after that because she was in severe pain. No shit. Sorry, go on. She, she had to take like sleeping tablets to sleep and oh, she had a God. Thames machine for the pain and oh, really bad. Um, so she was put on mobility where you get the benefit money. It's like, oh, basically like you need to be able to walk. Isn't it money so, or a car? Yeah. What is it? A fucking game show? Yeah. What <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is? Oh, and Bruce, Bruce you're Ford, fucked. You've Bruce got, no, comes to you've your got house. no room. <laughs> One <you> leg. <laughs> Bruce Forsyth comes to your house. You play higher or lower. And then at the end of it, you're like, oh, yeah, bye. What do you remember ah, from the conveyor belt? Wow. Ah, um, you could have had a Hyundai. But there was a, a well-known uh, fraud scam. Oh, right? oh. Where what people would do is approach people who were on mobility and go, how about this? We'll give you a little bit more than the money you get. And you get me the car. Because it was a lot cheaper than actually getting a car. Oh, right. Cash for cars. Uh, so, oh, like you're driving me nan's mobility car. Yeah. That kind of thing. So some someone approached me ma and was like, look, you're getting like, what, 400 quid a month for mobility. We'll give you 500, but you get us a four month nail. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And my mum did it, yeah. And I felt I used to turn up once a month, give her 500 quid and fuck off in his Mondale. Right. And it didn't go wrong. Until she died. <laughs> right. And then he had to give his car up. Wow. Oh dear. I mean, I get it. I'm driving me nan's fucking And that was motability. Class. Yeah. Mobility. Just, I hey, Jack, just talking about my mum's uh, mum defrauding the government. Yeah, and, <laughs> and a full medical history as well. It's you know, people are on mobility and they get like they make the car and he gives them the dough. Yeah, no, it's double Jeffrey. They can't do you know she's dead. What? Double Jeffrey. Yeah, she's dead now. She can't be. You can't posthumously prosecute me, man. No. Fuck. Yeah, so, that's definitely double Jeffrey, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so Dan, what's rated? What? What's rated? Oh, mobility cars <laughs> overrated. <Yeah. laughs> Have you ever had a go on a mobility scooter? No. Underrated. Every There's a stigma around it, but have a fucking go. It's quality. You could really see yourself easing into it. Just, it's great fun. Who's, Underrated. Who did you steal? Uh, we had a go on one. Me and my, uh, well, I didn't, I didn't steal a mobility scooter. Me and my mate, this is when we were uh, probably like second year or whatever. We were cleaning, fuck, cleaning up the garden. 
he had a neighbor that gave him like five quid to just tidy up the garden. And there was a mobility scooter in the garage. So we oh. had a fucking waz around on it. Excellent fun. Underrated mobility scooters. Okay, good. That on the list. Adam. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Give us a thing. <laughs> The bananas, mobility scooters, rugs. Overrated. <laughs> Anal sex. I'll, I'll go with you on yeah. that. Give it or take her. Jim Jeffries nailed that. <laughs> well, <laughs> now we're fucking talking. Jim Jeffries nailed this in one of his specials. The reason men want to bum women so hard is because they don't like it. And it's like a, a treat. The hard don't want to do that. When they finally go, yeah, you feel like you're getting something. Uh -huh. But if women were just, if women all the time were like, go ahead, bum me on me pussy, whatever you want. We'd, we'd pick pussy 99 times out of 100. Oh, yeah. It's designed <laughs> to fit. One of the 100 bumming it. Yeah, bum, I mean, bum, then you want an away day, do you know what I mean? Bum on me also, pussy. Also, I don't have to blag and convince someone to get bummed. Do you know what I mean? No, now, I've, okay. been I've been with uh, a lady you like, you like who was like, I, uh, this is how she put it verbatim. She went, I like it a bum bum sex. Yeah. And I was like, in? madam, I'm in. And she was... Did she you, was prepared. Did you go in? She had the apparatus. I mean, she had an arsehole. And she also had the... Upper <laughs> arsehole? She had a bit of... W Not everyone does, though. <laughs> she, oh. She, oh, here we go. We had a bit of WD-40. A sexy version of WD-40. Quite fun. And because she was into it, tremendous. Don't see the fun of being like, can I come and have bum? Can we have anal sex? And then someone's like... Eh. Did you come in and ask? Like, what? <laughs> National Comedy Awards. <laughs> Get ready. Cunts. Coming in an ass is sexy, though. It does feel good, like, but like the the journey's not as fun. <laughs> yeah, and don't when you finish, just go. I bummed you. <laughs> they don't like that. Bomb. Bomb. Tell them the story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we haven't come. We have not progressed from there at all, and that was twelve years ago. <laughs> Me and Carl working again. Who <laughs> <laughs> told us she got bummed? <laughs> she come in. From like, she told you. Yeah. yeah. Rocky like, mistake. What are you gonna do today? Well, it's a Tuesday. I've got some friends I need to tell a tale to. <laughs> no, Lads, she, she, she came in. Us. We were like, "What were you doing over the weekend?" She was like, oh, "I got bummed." Right? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much like that, though. Yeah. She was like, "Oh, I've been seeing this new lab. We, yeah, having sex." And we were like, "Oh, really?" Yeah. She's like, "Yeah, you know, let him fuck me in the ass and that." And we were like, "You got bummed?" <laughs> she was like, "Yeah, they got bummed." <laughs> so then. Like, to this day, if I see her in town now, I will text Carl and go, I've just seen Bum there. Her name is Bummed in my phone. We would shout, we would shout Bummed. In the yeah, we, like, she'd be, she'd be like, see you later. I'm like, bye, Bummed. Bummed. Was she all right with it? I don't really think, no. A bum and all. No, I mean, was she all right with it? Because she sounds fucking great. We were 18, great. you know, we are 13 old dickheads now. Imagine when we were teenagers. <laughs> I yeah. don't have to imagine that hard. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah. Bummed. Uh, if he's listening, bummed, hello. Her uh, name is Rachel. <laughs> Rachel bummed. <laughs> when, yeah, honestly, if enough. someone's into it she and they're is. like, tell you what I like, I'm you're fine. But it, honestly, it's got to be a... It's, it, you want it to be like a Champions League away fixture. I, I want the main fixtures to be in, you know, the, the Fanny League. Oh, so I've been put off bumming because I want to fuck the woman and she shit the bed. And the shower. <laughs> yeah. You said that last week? I, I didn't make her feel bad about it, but it's just not ideal, is it? To have poo everywhere. <laughs> I mean, it's very fucking far from ideal, isn't it? That's a short walk to the shower. Hang on, so we've got bananas overrated, <laughs> rugs underrated, bummed, bumming overrated. Bummed. Yeah. She's, she's underrated. She sounds great. There we go. There's your list. Send some stuff in. <laughs> yeah. What's, under, we'll what's underrated? Next. What's overrated? Yeah. The, ch the flavour cherry mobility scooters, and a good bumming. <laughs> <laughs> mobility scooters underrated. <laughs> Bombers. Oh. What about getting bummed on a mobility scooter? <laughs> with, middle, isn't it? with cherry flavoured lube. Oh, Ooh, the holy trinity. Oh, oh my Have God. you ever put... <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever put flavoured lube in a woman's uh, thing and, and had a good little fucking scram of it? Huh? Hey? Have you ever scrammed a cherry flavoured pussy hole? <laughs> <laughs> no. Do you know what I mean? No. But is it edible? Is it edible, lube? Yeah. Yeah. Edible lube's edible, yeah. Oh, I I use uh, Millennium ID. I was with a girl once Silicon who would only suck me off if I put the lube on my cock. She didn't like to taste the cock, but she liked to taste the fruit. Oh, nice. <laughs> 
<laughs> cock flavored lube. <laughs> one, one of my five a day. Did she specify the flavor? Actually, no, it wasn't. Did it, was it lube or did you actually rub fruit on your dick? <laughs> <laughs> fucking cherry on top there. Shine an apple on his cock. Get on my fruit cocktail, girl. Nom, cherries nom, nom. don't taste like cherry flavored stuff. Correct. Cherry flavored stuff tastes better than cherries. Exactly. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But strawberry tastes better than strawberry flavored stuff. Correct. Mm. Correct again. Yeah. Mm. Grape flavored stuff, like grape soda, it tastes worse. Can go than grapes. fuck itself yeah. to yeah. the yeah. moon. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It Correct. is the worst thing in the world. And I'm convinced that I'm part of some massive prank where it's like, let's try and get Adam Rowe to taste grape flavored things. Yeah. Mm. Correct. What about sour apple flavor? I like oh, that. Like yeah. a apple, sour apple, apple hubba bubba. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sour yeah. cherry. Up me bollocks, mate. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Cherry cola fizzy sweets. Oh. The red and cola yeah, ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about a strangle wank? Underrated over. <laughs> uh, oh, go underrated for that. I've one. never strangled myself while wanking. A girl has tried to choke me out while she was fucking me. Yeah. <laughs> choke <laughs> not choke me out. <laughs> fucking hell. Ronda Rousey. <laughs> No, oh, she's more of an armbar girl. Of course she was, Carl! Because <laughs> Carl knows the UFC! You <laughs> 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 wasn't a bit tech serious. To share that. That's the whole trailer. Oh, sorry, it's not fun. Oh, oh, the oh, Noel oh, Johnson running down the wing, catching the ball. Go! Oh, oh, Ronda Rousey would never be a You win in an NFL top! Yeah, because it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> What's, what's the best? What's underrated? Watching UFC every fucking night, <laughs> rubbing fruit on your bars. <laughs> Seneca, like, fucking hell, that's not sin free, kid. <laughs> A lot of fructose. <sighs> Thank you, Carl. Well Wonderful. Let's have a break. Speaking of underrated, Sean Walsh? Oh, he's very rated, Sean. No, he's underrated. He's underrated. I think he might be pound for pound the number one in the UK. Isn't he? he was overrated. <laughs> <laughs> now he's underrated. <laughs> I'm a difficult mistress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's he's absolutely fucking exceptional. Ah, <clears throat> oh, let's get him in. Speaking of jungles as well. Oh, hang on. Mmm, smooth. <laughs> What's happening, guys? Time to talk about my absolute favorite sponsor. It's NordVPN. It's mad that they're your favorite sponsor when a while back you didn't even know what a VPN was. Do you know what? Now I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure what one is now. It's an added security for your computer. You can have oh. it on your laptop. You can have it on your mobile device, your tablet. It can, it, first of all, it ups your security, but also you can change where your computer thinks you are. So yeah, you are in the UK right now, but you can tell your computer via your VPN, hey, let everyone think I'm in Latvia. And then you get Latvia. to watch Latvian Netflix. Latvian Netflix. <laughs> And Turkmenistan Premier League. Exactly. It's so good. It's really good for the footy. Oh, the, definitely. The Premier League three o'clock, because I don't get broadcast in the UK. You can watch that on a streaming service that is available abroad. It's perfect. Our sponsor is NordVPN, my personal favorite and personally used VPN service. And our exclusive NordVPN deal, if you go to nordvpn.com slash have a word, you get a huge discount off your NordVPN plan and a bonus gift. And it's also completely risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. That's a deal. There's no risk. Go and do it. They'll like us because we've sent you. You get more security and you get to watch some Ugandan porn. You <laughs> lucky, lucky bastards. I'm just going to do that now, actually. Mm. Two secs. Whoa. She's not Ugandan. <laughs> Hello, Sean. Oh, hello. Oh. Hey. Hey. He's one of our own. He's one of our own. That boy Walsh, he's gone a bit more mainstream, but he's still one of our own. No, it's good to be. Yeah, it's good to be back. <laughs> um, yes, mate. A lot's happened since lot I was last here. I feel yeah. like my life's... Ch I'm having a baby. What? Hey. Hey. When? When? Did you not know that? No. I did. Oh, I yeah, did. yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Having a baby in about a w week. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> is, it oh, is it due as well? Nothing. What do you mean, is it due? <laughs> is it having to get a week? It's yeah, due. yeah, that's what I meant. I didn't <laughs> think, is it Jewish? I meant, like, <laughs> yeah, is it like <laughs> imminent? Yeah. Yeah, next, yeah, next week. Oh, like, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I d maybe I did know. I forget no. things, me. Yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> you don't know, but you know. Yeah. I could smell it. 
<laughs> but, I was like, ah, oh, this guy's... I mentioned something about you being a, a dad on when you were <sighs> guest hosting. Sean, can you drop your mic so we can see your face, please? Yeah, beautiful Sorry. face. And I just point the mic up towards you. Oh, God. Okay. So I love it when he <laughs> takes control. And I was like, oh, you'll be a great dad. Were you prego at the time? No. All right, okay, cool. Because it's because you're so like great with Mildred Barrett, your dog. Thank you. Online. Best best I was like, Thank you. I was like, this this all feels very like this is going in can the Can I direction. just say objectively He's speaking, a mathematician, so. You, you were <laughs> pregnant at the time. Yeah. Because that was May. The 4th of May. No, no. You might not have known yet. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. Well, I didn't know. No, I would have said. No, I didn't know. He found yeah. out yesterday. He was very close to me and found out. <laughs> true, true story. How she told me was, she asked me to come back home. She's like, when the gig's finished, she texted me, when the gig's finished, can you come back home? Which was abnormal. I don't usually ask to get to come home. I didn't think anything of it. Got home. She's lying in bed and there was a poem left on the chest of drawers and she said uh, can you read that <laughs> and i read the poem and where she sorry can you say poem just one oh, more time yeah hell. i always go home p o m e i'm always getting caught out for words poem what poem poem no. <laughs> no 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 that's a different way do you mean like poem. a collection of sentences Rhyming that rhyme words. yeah that's a poem you're doing two syllables because it is a two poem. syllables it is a poem. poem that's one syllable poem you're saying it quickly it's one poem. syllable poem poem poem, poem. poem. No, poem. you're saying poem. <laughs> you're saying P-O-M-E. We're going to Google how many syllables poem are. We're going to get the VAR on it. This kid's fucked. Oh. Isn't it? <laughs> poem. <laughs> poem. We've just had a fucking yeah, minute some... debate. Say it. Po I just want to add that uh, my nan, when she was alive, used to say poem. Yeah. And we used to yeah but your family are fucking stupid, aren't you? Stupid, stupid bitch. bitch. That's just stupid. Ready? Ready? Hey! hey. Poem. A poem. Yeah, that's oh, it. That there sounds you go. nice. That sounds nice. A what poem. Did, what did the poem say? <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm up the duff, and so are you. No, but see, see it wasn't as it wasn't uh, explicit enough, as you didn't like outright say I'm pregnant. I just read it, and I did, where it was kind of you know in a poem, and it was you know it was metaphors. I I read it, didn't get. That. Are you sure it was the right poem? Did she not just leave like Charge of the Light Brigade on the? <laughs> That's the only poem you know. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop the clocks. <laughs> What is, is it, it the Raven by Edgar Allan Poe by any chance? <laughs> Edgar Allan Poe, more like. Oh. <laughs> uh, what did it say? What did it say? Well, I, I can't remember exactly. I still got it, but I can't remember exactly what it said. But it was like, it was like now there's more. You know, it was the kind of, and now there's more of us to go into the future. And I just didn't. <laughs> you want to have a threesome? I mean, yeah. <laughs> what? So Who's I, in the cupboard? But imagine she's wrote, she's written that. She's put that down. This is a big moment. One of the most important moments in both of our lives. Oh, she yeah. wrote it? I, she wrote it. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Aww. And That's I read thing. it, right, at the end of it. And I went, nice. <laughs> <laughs> and, what, and what was your thought? It was like, oh, she's gone mental. <laughs> I just thought it was, I, did, I didn't think anything of it. I just thought, you know, sometimes, she sometimes you women do these things. <laughs> like write poems. <laughs> Tell you how much they love you. No, but when you first read it, did you think she's made me rush home from work <laughs> because she's written a fucking poem? I wrote a good poem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come and see my poem. <laughs> Sean, I'm thinking about becoming a poet. <laughs> <laughs> He's a poet and he didn't know. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Congratulations, mate. It's beautiful. Thank you very, beautiful. Thank you very much. Gonna be a boy yes. or a girl? Uh, we don't know. Don't have know. Have you got names picked? Uh, yes. Yeah, well, Is it have a word exclusive. Can we? If it's a boy, uh, <laughs> Charlie, after Chaplin, yeah. not Gak. Just, uh, <laughs> 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 this is me son, the shite. There he is. <laughs> Lemo. Lemo Welsh. <laughs> This is my son packet. Yeah, <laughs> 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 oh, no, sorry. <laughs> if it's a girl, and uh, if it's a girl, wilder, wilder, a bit more strange. After Deontay. After. <laughs> De <laughs> <laughs> Big <Deontay. laughs> Let's see. Let's see what colour it is. For her. So, I actually said. No, 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 no. I actually, genuinely, at the scan, at the scan, at the scan, I went for a gag. And then you, do you, do you, do you ever, do, I think there might be two types of comic. 
<laughs> I'm usually usually more restrained. I'm usually just try and get through the world and the ideas come to me, I do it on stage and yeah, I yeah. kind of leave it yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for some reason at the scan, I, I went for it. And she went, would you like to know the gender? And I went, can we know the color first? <laughs> silence, absolute silence. Come on. And I, I had to say the, the two words you never want to say as a comic, which is, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm, jo I'm yeah, joking. Please don't ask me to leave. To the nurse, <laughs> to the nurse. That might have been like, we don't need to know the gender if we know it's not white. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, do you want to know the gender? Yeah. Uh, can we just know the colour first, see whether that matters? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. Yeah, That's God. why she was like, what? Yes. It's a very, uh, <coughs> it's meant to be a lovely moment, isn't it? I'm, They're doing right. that like, mm. I said, they balls. <laughs> I was absolutely convinced that Etta had balls. I was like, I can see fucking testicles. Oh my God. It's a girl with balls. <laughs> Did you not think of doing one of them weird gender um, reveal. reveal things? No. They are weird, aren't they? No, I, no, I don't even know what they are. What are they? You have a what? party where like, yeah. someone volleys a 40 and if it goes blue, it's a boy. <laughs> like, that's not even... But do, do the parents know what it no. is? Are they to no, not tell until somebody. that point. So someone, someone knows, like, knows? A, like a sister a a good friend or, or, a sister, a, or, yeah. or someone like that, then they buy like coloured confetti cannons and you all get your family round and it's Instagram trashy. If you've done it, they pull fair the confetti. Fucks. If it's all blue, oh, it's a boy. Oh, it's all pink. Man. Oh, it's a girl. There was one in America. Of time. They did it, and there was like it, it was meant to go bang and a, and a load of color, pink or blue, or but, and a, it was re the explosives in it. Not explosives, but it was like explosives, and a shard of metal went out from the explosion, hit the uh, the the gran, oh. and she died. What? <laughs> It's a girl, <laughs> and one Nana's one dead. <laughs> Genuinely. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. 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 So, you find so don't out do that. Like, no, we're not doing that. But someone said, "What are you meant to do?" It's always the same reaction, isn't it? Yay! Do you know the only times I really like it is uh, usually Americans, where the they've got the kids in it as well, and there's like six lads, and you can see the mum going, "I've only got one more go in me. We're pregnant. I want a fucking girl." And it's a girl, and you can see how oh, tough she is. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. But uh, the hey, rest the is just... Yeah? And he used to have ones with metal in, so if it wasn't a boy, it'd kill the woman. <laughs> History <laughs> that makes you feel sad. <laughs> mm. Did you? Would you Would you so... have a preference? Um, I want a boy so that I can take him to the match. Not that you can't take a girl to the match, but like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do know what I mean, no. I know, I know that that's not a very progressive thing to say. I totally understand that I'm setting me ways, but I want a son because I think it's more likely he will be as into the football as I am. More, okay, more likely. I think that's statistically more likely. I'm not saying it's impossible, and if it is a girl, fine. But I would fine. love a boy. <laughs> fine. 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 It's a girl. Fine. Oh. God. Oh. She better be a lesbian that's into footy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I want a girl. What? I want a girl. I want a boy and then a girl. Oh, you want a girl? I want one girl, yeah. Okay. I want a boy, then a girl. Boy, then a girl. I want the boys to be able to protect the girl. Three years between that's them. That's such a fucking... That's old school. Yeah. yeah. He is a bit old school, isn't he? What do you yeah. think? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 30 <laughs> yeah. Get him doing MMA yeah. when he's three. And then he's ready, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> MMA when he's three. Yeah. Right, cool. <laughs> Start them early. Yeah, yeah. And so, and fussy. so in a few years he has a sister and he can fucking choke her out. <laughs> That'd be good. You're weaponizing your children. That's gonna be. I think an army of toddler of girls kids. are cuter than toddler boys. Toddler boys are horrible, aren't they? But that's like Etta's so cute and like funny. Toddler boys are just fucking. She's pretty foul. <laughs> she was pretty foul. <laughs> They're all batshit. Let's be honest. No, kids are mental. Boys have all got. I don't know. Just something about. I don't know. Kids just need authority, and then they're fine. All that happens when you tell people, and you would have had this, you might know this. All that happens when you tell people that you're having a baby, and they've had a baby. You've not done it, and thank you. I appreciate it. Is you go, I'm having a baby. They go, congratulations, and then proceed to tell you how tired you're going to be, how exhausted you're going to be. Get your sleep. Now it's all that. It's all that happens. It's so strange. No one. And then some people go, oh, it's lovely, but no one can tell you why it's lovely. <laughs> all they do is just tell you how tired we're having a baby. Oh, congratulations! You're going to be so tired. <laughs> Get your sleep now. You're going to be so tired. I imagine that's even harder for you because you are like perpetually knackered, aren't you? I'm always tired. <laughs> oh, I wake up tired. <laughs> that's why I had this black coffee here to get me ready for this. I'm not I, awake. Yeah. I'm going to have a coffee in the break because I had one this morning and I do need another one. What are you two talking about? It's my face there. 
<laughs> Did you not know that, that no, you were? I didn't notice. I'm no. drinking from your head. Uh, uh, good. <laughs> I'm always tired though. I'm always I can always sleep. Like I can always go. No, I'm always tired, but I can never sleep, and that's why I'm always tired. Yeah. Wait, what? You'd be good when you have a baby then, because then you can do the nights. If you're yeah, up. that sounds just like if you're now. up, you can just <laughs> lean into it. <laughs> baby. I know what you mean. People Fucking hear kid. the news and then for some reason feel they want to just pass on the listen, this is how it's gonna be. Like just yeah. be just be happy for me. It's yes. great. You I, love you love something m more than yourself. Like for the like for the I know you men are love your missus and everything, and you do. But it's it I love it. to so you just have this thing yeah, it's that you love you haven't got unconditional so love much. Laura. You've got unconditional love it's for your kids. It's fucking amazing. I, I, I saw a doctor yesterday, but it was about my feet. But I mentioned to him that I, I was having a baby and he, and he said he... he I just As an up. explanation for your feet. <laughs> oh, you've got new dad toes. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> I can <laughs> He he he's, he said he just he just had a child of seven months, and he said I thought this was very profound that having a child had felt like it had connected to connected him to something before him, nature, and and after him that he felt more entwined with time, the continuum of time. Oh, yeah, he's now, he's, he's now part show. of the chain that continues life. In, yeah. In, on, was this an Earth. NHS doctor or does he like wave sage over here to try and heal a broken leg? No, the, yeah, 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 no, 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 yeah, it was the real. He had a side parting real thing. <laughs> oh, that's official. It was, that in, it was in his garage. He's got a medical degree. <laughs> with hair like that. <laughs> <laughs> what the look, look at that. Are you all right though? Like you, you've carried on the world, haven't you? Like life. When that's you're dead, was, you've, yeah. got, you've got that, that was, person to carry on. That was amazing. Do you feel like that yet? No, because I don't know. Because it's not, it's just in her belly. I mean, It's I a concept, know. isn't it? It almost feels like once you've not met, it's not happened. It's not real. It's yeah, it's a weird one. The pregnant bit is like, you know it's happening, but it isn't real yet. You've got the computer game, the discs in the box, but you've not put it in and pressed play. <laughs> what a nice You don't press analogy. play on a fucking computer game, do you? No, but you're ready to just yeah, for things to change overnight. Am, am I ready? No, you are, you should be by uh, now. What well, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, what you don't understand is Carl is a dog father. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so he's he's been through what you're going through. He has a, you know, Something a dog. shit's in my house now that I don't want it to. Yeah. That's just the same thing. Isn't nightmare. It? And you love Stop him. Stop inviting me around. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was very nervous when you went in the jungle. I yeah, uh, I didn't message you. I just good. messaged good luck. But when we found out, I was like, oh no, Sean, yeah. I don't want any more bad things to happen. <laughs> I was like, you, you, you're fucking with that mainstream. And you made, this is the biggest compliment I can ever give to you. You made me watch I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here, which yeah. I will never do again until he's on. <laughs> and I can't wait for a Tory minister to walk in that jungle <laughs> where the whole city of Liverpool goes, fucking get him, Adam. <laughs> um, it, I, it was so great to watch you nail it. And I, I got I got in the reactions, I got in the tweets. I, I, I've never done wow. this for anything, but I was so invested in you doing well. And it was lovely seeing the tide turn. And even my sister was like, well, you know, classic, exactly what you'd expect. Well, the Strictly thing. Mm. By the end, she was like, it's just so genuine, so funny. I loved it. <laughs> oh, and that's... you came fifth out of like the 15, is that right? Well, okay. Uh, the, the way I phrase it is I got to uh, just two nights before the end. <laughs> 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 but officially, yeah, I got, I, I, I got fifth. Were but you that, nervous going in? Guys, the week, so you get put in isolation. I've not, do you know what? I've not really spoken about this, believe it or not, what? since since coming out. Oh, thank you for saving that up. Well, I just, yeah, it's weird. I've just noticed I've not s said this yeah. on, on anything, I don't think. Uh, but I... You get put in the in the in in the isolation for a eight days. I was on my own, on my fucking own in this this big house, and like with what happened last time, you can imagine my, my mind is not being very nice to me, and I am totally freaking out because when I agreed to it, I was actually quite ex excited. Yeah, I thought. Grace, my partner, just talked me into it. What is there to lose? There is, there is, there is nothing to lose. There was nothing to lose. And and although I had started rebuilding through doing stand up with the help of you guys, genuinely, 
it, you know, it still felt like, well, if this goes wrong, I'll still have that. There's nothing to go yeah. that can really. Whereas after Strictly, <coughs> when it went wrong, you thought you'd lost everything. 100%. Yeah. So this time you're and, like, and it, what? Yeah. yeah. But, the, but this time there wasn't that. No. Well, you know, you guys were still going to have me. Yeah. I was still going to be able to do Edinburgh. That's all I kind of had. We're in at a time now where you can film your own special. I just think if you had kissed Matt Hancock, we might have had to. <laughs> Sorry. I think we might have had to have a little chat about whether you can. No, but carry on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my, uh, my, Matt Hancock, my Matt Hancock story takes place after the jungle, which is we have. But everyone's out now, and we've all got one night in the hotel. <laughs> we know they're all out now. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but in, this, in the setting, I'm beginning the story. Go, go, I've go, 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 gone back in time. It's, we're all out. Whoa. It's like that. Yeah, oh, I yeah. thought you were so yeah, we left the blonde one from Cody in. She loves it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she's a legend, by the way. Yeah, by the way. She came across as one, to be honest. She's yeah. wonderful. So, right, so... Uh, one, everyone's got one night in the hotel, even Jill and Owen and Matt, the finalists. We've all got one night in the hotel together. We agree to have dinner. Matt is staying on uh, Hancock, is staying on the same floor as me, right? And which is quite surreal, as you can imagine. Now, what you might not know is the paparazzi get rooms in this hotel. It's big Fuck off hotel, paparazzi get rooms. And they're sneaking around the floors. Security are looking for them, but can't always find them. There's a paparazzi around, they've got rooms, they're trying to get photos, trying to get stories, trying to hear whispers, get anything, right? So we'll all we'll agree to go for dinner. I agree to meet Hancock at the lift to go down to, to meet everyone at the, at the dinner. We've got a WhatsApp group. And so my phone, bang, Matt Hancock, right? Matt Hancock, is, imagine how surreal that is on my phone. Matt Hancock is on my phone. I can't tell you how surreal that would be for me. I, I know, I know, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that, but this, you know, at the time you're just like, fucking, what the hell is going on? This is not normal. And he says that the paparazzi by the lifts, right? So you're like, fucking hell, right? And I go, well, what shall I do? And he said, he said, stay, stay inside. I'll tell you when it's safe to come out. <laughs> I thought, fuck me, he's put me in lockdown again. So you, so before you go in, you're in isolation. You've done eight days. Oh, so you're literally cooking in your own thoughts. Cooking in my exactly that. Cooking in my own thoughts. Suddenly the excitement, though I've got nothing to lose, has just completely flipped. What? Why have I done this to myself again? That that was the worst period of my life. I'm now potentially gonna. You know, they could write anything. Because anything. at that at that stage, like genuinely, when you said you had nothing to lose before, I totally understand that mentality, and I think it was the right one to have. But in reality, you did have your mental health to lose. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's totally. I felt like I was in a good place. Yeah, and that I happiest would be I've a, ever seen you before. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Really good place. And 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 suddenly you're on your own, and you're going, what, just just what have I done? I'm starting to remember how I felt back then. And and then we and then you, we we go in. So I'm having a really tough time. I can't sleep. That's what I mean. <laughs> you're jet lagged. You're in Australia. <laughs> yes, but also you know it was, I, I was having a tough time, and I I I I go in, and 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 Hancock appears from the bushes, and obviously <laughs> I put those two stories together in my head. I I didn't know. You see, you would everyone would have known because you had the papers saying, oh, he's rumoured to go in. I was in isolation. That's not, I'm so fucking glad that I didn't know. Because if I had known, I can't tell you what I would have done, but I'm going to guess that as a comic, I would have thought, I would have thought, right, how do I react? And what great funny line can yeah. I say? Yeah. And that would not have been as good as my genuine, <laughs> I can't fucking believe it. I love, that <laughs> program is 47 clip. minutes, right? That program's 47 minutes. I laughed for 45 minutes. In real life, I could, I was crying. I could, all I could see was what my, my, I came, it was like an outer body experience, what my friends were thinking. Like yeah. it's, it was the funniest gag that you, I, I just did not see that coming. Yeah. And then, it, and, and, and yeah, and it was. What was, it, was there an element when you watched it? Cause it, it was really weird that you were first in. He was second in. Is that right? Of the, 
they no, were no, late, no, no, they no. Were late arrivals. We were yeah. late arrivals, but I was first of the late arrivals. Right. So, okay. So when he came down, that clip of you just, you just start laughing. Yeah. Was there any thought like, I mean, I'm just, I, I'm not trying to put words in your Go mouth. Go on. But if you're, after everything that happened with Strictly, yeah. was there a, a concern that they've, I'm gonna, they've painted me as the potential villain here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you see him wander down, was there a bit of like, oh no, I'm gonna be fine because. <laughs> well, I thought, because I, 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 I thought, well, there's someone I can beat. And then, <laughs> and then he came first. <laughs> and I came first. <laughs> but, but you know what? All of that anxiety that I had in isolation, that's anxiety, that's about, isn't it? That's nervous, which we've all had, everyone has it where your mind is, is, is preparing you for the worst. And actually, as soon as, even before he, he walked through the bushes, when I'm just stood in there, and you kind of, you're just, suddenly, it, I felt absolutely fine. All of the anxiety had gone. I knew almost from that point before he came in, I think I'm gonna be okay. This is fun. Now, I, I never really watched it before. But it's kind of, it's not, it's not the old, it's not Big Brother, is it? Big Brother was about, especially when it got to Channel 5, was about like boozing people up and people going fucking mental. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think I'm a celeb, is that? I think it's like just... It's proper family TV. Isn't it's it? family TV. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. that's what I remember. Channel, I was like, in there. Big Brother was a bit raunchy when it was like late night, like... Yeah. What can happen if we put people in a house and give them fuck all? It's, yeah, yeah. Like that it developed is like, into that, didn't it? Yeah. That is like yeah. Jungle Run, but with adults. Yeah. <laughs> yes. From CITV. Yeah. But it, it's it's got, it's not like, I remember, do you remember when Big Brother just started? I mean, I used to, did you used to like Big Brother? I fucking I mean, mum loved it, yeah. Oh, I watched oh the first God. series. I, I watched every minute of that first series 20 odd years ago. And then, it, and then they worked well, Craig, out. Our Craig, one, didn't he? Yeah. 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 And then they worked He's out that dad's cousin, by the they way. can't all, just, do you remember the Irish nun who was like, like, it's just it's only a game show it's only a game show and like That's your sleep paralysis no 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 she, she, she was in that first they didn't want that they wanted people wound up by it because if everyone just goes it's just a tv show chill out that that wouldn't make for better tv and then they made it harder then they got them hungrier then they've got annoyed with each other and then gradually it becomes more antagonistic because people are bored of the format let's see them fucking kick off yes let's put men like is it with the jungle like have they just got to be a bit more respectful because it's celebrities or it's not like they're just, I don't know, no, behind the I scenes, are they are they trying to make it confrontational? I don't are think they, so. No? I, honestly, I, I I really think it's the, the, the difference between the jungle and shows like Big Brother. Big Brother, you want everyone at it. That's what that's what it's about. And in the jungle, actually, it's a family show and it's about, oh my God, you know, I, <laughs> I woke up every morning with Boy George, first person I saw in a concert, I wasn't making that up, my mum took me to see <laughs> an 80s reunion night at Wembley Arena, that was my first ever concert, and he had a satellite dish on his head. I loved 80s romantics music. I once went clubbing, not to an 80s night, to an indie night, dressed as a new romantic, like with makeup on, because I thought that was cool. And I can tell you, <laughs> in the early noughties, women did not find that cool. <laughs> they found that creepy. Uh, and I never did that again, but Boy George was behind me and he's meditating and he's going like, hey, 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 doing all of these things, tapping, all of that stuff. And so you've got Boy George and me and he's teaching me and I'm going, what? Uh, uh, that's the fun. Yeah, yeah. Let, look, let's match these two people together that were never in a million years yeah. be together. That that was the yeah. fun. I never there was never any confrontation. I don't think. Uh, well, there was when everyone obviously when everyone grilled Matt. That that yeah. was. That Did was the producers the ever get involved in terms of like conversations or anything like that? No, they just let no. it to it. They just let they let it play out. I absolutely, let it play out. That's the, the weird thing is that I, that I always that when I came out, I found surprising. Everyone goes like, how much how much of it is then. How much do they get? Ever you have a, you have some shortbread around the corner, don't you? You have a, a bacon <laughs> sun. No, it's like that's it. That's the show. What's happening there? And the only thing I would say is towards towards the end, you just you. I don't think you forget that the cameras are there, but you f you f you forget people are watching. And I can't. Exp I don't know if I can I, articulate I, I know the difference that means between to that. a much smaller scale like in this room. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Of course. The you fuck know it's. Am I, talking like about? I, I forget yeah, that there's like... a million people watching this. <laughs> it's 
fucking and awesome. listening to it just, yeah. like the, in my head me like it's, obviously there's mics but I'm just having a conversation with me mates yes. and trying to say the most ridiculous thing yes. and it's when someone in my life like goes, oh, me mum started listening to your podcast, and then I go, why, why would, yeah, why yes. would your mother want <laughs> to listen to what? Why, why are you allowing this to happen? Yes. Like, it, I, I forget that it's possible for anybody to I go. Know. I'm sure Adam's got a podcast. I'll just put this on. You just don't skip to 37 no, minutes. You get used to the camera. I had a point in Amsterdam when I was pretty high on magic mushrooms. When I realised that in 15 years, <laughs> did you my do drugs in Amsterdam? I tried them. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> your my one-year-old son, who in 15 years will be 16, might be watching the YouTube special. Just you know when your, yes. your wavelength is off. So and I a had a conversation moment. down the camera to my son Jack in 15 years. It, and and you're like was, you don't you honestly. don't think about stuff like that. Sorry, you really did that. Yeah. yeah. What and do you mean? Because I was so, so high. Touching. He did a piece of the camera oh. on chat with like his Jack, future. What did he so. say? Um, make, uh, respect sex yeah. workers. Yeah, respect sex workers. <laughs> <laughs> Be a good guy. Incredible. Yeah. I was like, just do shrooms, lad. <laughs> yeah, he was like, if you come here, don't don't come. touch the pot. You'll go like Carl. I, but if you go, if you Uncle Carl. Yeah. <laughs> Can I do but that? Can I do that now? Please? Yeah, straight, to, straight to, down. To Charlie, Charlie or, or Wilder, it would be good to see you. Come back. I'm sad. That doesn't happen <laughs> now. <laughs> that would be awful if that now happens. <laughs> so it's one thing that people are watching it. In my head, I'm like, this is going to be on YouTube forever. Yes. Yeah. Um, so yeah. you genuinely stop thinking about the millions of people that are every night going. You don't, it doesn't, I've said, oh, at the end, no, you, you, it almost happens immediately. Yeah. And when the, the votes come in and you know you survive, when it gets to that stage, Man, is that I, good for you? Is that like. All I wanted to do, as you can imagine, is just get past that first one. Just get past. Just, not be the first one out. Just not be the first one out. They're just there, like, and then and then and and Odette go. It's not you, and you're just like, uh, right. That's well. Then I've won. So when I was at, when I was out at fifth, <laughs> you, you know, matter done. I won. I won for. I, I won this for me. Yeah. You know, I might not won the show, yeah. but I won my thing. Yeah. Whatever it is, my yeah. story. Um, and it's been lovely. And you and you know you'll know you'll I've 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 forgotten. It's been so long since. And it's not something you, I don't know. I've, I feel like I've had two goes at this. I've, 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 I know that sounds, I know what it sounds like. It sounds very cheesy, uh, but I, I, you know, when I was younger, my mid twenties, even early twenties, people come up to go, oh, hello, short, like yous. Might have even been autographs then or photo selfies. And you're doing it, but it, because it's a normal journey. What people don't realize, it's not like uh, X Factor with us. All of us yeah. is when, when you're doing the clubs. Because every single one of us, after our first gig, experienced this tiny degree of fame, which was when we're at the bar, someone went, really enjoyed that. That yeah, was yeah, fame. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, night, yeah. on yeah. that first night, when someone went, I really enjoyed upstairs, that, that's fame. And then what happens is that just slowly, slowly gets bigger. And I, I remember the first time I was recognised in London. Had it been on TV, they just happened to be at a night what that I did in Hoxton with John Richardson. You, I was too young. It happened, you know, incrementally. You just don't realise how extraordinary it is for us. Yeah. I mean, you guys are self-made. That's a completely different thing. And, and uh, God knows what that feels like. And the people go, hello, really like you in the jungle, really like your stand-up, all that stuff. To, to, to kind of lose that, people, people, aren't, people aren't saying, oh, you know, I, I enjoy your work. Suddenly it's flipped to, and this would happen a lot. I, d and I don't want to go into a bad, this isn't negative, no, this yeah, is yeah, positive. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is positive. But you know, it was, there was, you're sitting on the tube, you're like, oh, do these people hate me? Did it, you know, if someone looks, they go, oh. to definitely something has happened. I feel better. I'm on the tube and I'm just, I just, I just know I feel better because if someone recognizes me, they're probably going to go, oh, just say, I really enjoyed you on the show or I really enjoy your stand up. You go, cherish this. I know what this feels like for this to go. I know that this ends. I've, yeah, I've yeah, felt yeah. this disappear. So every single person that goes, I really enjoy your stuff. You know, sometimes you ever get someone that's like a bit shy about a selfie. It's like they, they're not sure if they want to ask. Yeah. I go, do you want a selfie? Like it's, 
I'm like, just appreciate all of this. Do the self. Have you ever done that? And Adam go, happy. no, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a selfie? No, 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 no. I'm okay. Do you know where the station is? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I, I can deal with shyness. I can deal with a bit overbearing when people are like, oh, I love all of you. Oh, let me tell you this joke. I can deal with it and I go, part of the job, it is what it is, and I'll smile about it. Yes. The thing I find the most awkward is when someone comes over, points at me, says my name, and then has nothing else. They'll come over <laughs> and go, Adam, bro. I go, yeah, yeah. And they go, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Watch your videos. <laughs> no, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. That's lovely. But there's just nowhere to go with it. No. You know what I mean? But yeah. And I can't go. Do you want to sell? I can't bring myself to do that. Because if they went, no, I'd be like, oh my God. I think I'd eat my own soul. Did you genuinely get to the point where you were like, you, th you thought people were going to stop you? Go, you Sean Walsh? But I don't like it. Or did yes. you, you didn't get to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. And, and, that that's, and that feeling's that, gone. Well, that, that feeling's gone. And that never happened in real life. But I did. I, I, again, let's. Let's nip this in the bud so we can be positive because I think I've been on yeah. here before and gone, I'm fucking fucked in the head. <laughs> but it's like... It's a good episode, that, actually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. what I hosted, actually. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the uh, people would tweet... I'm off Twitter now. But people would tweet that they had seen me on the tube and put, like, and uh, felt great because I gave them a nasty look, like, to let him know what I think of him. Now, luckily, I never actually noticed those individual looks but someone like taking joy in giving you this nasty look which i, I did i never noticed <laughs> but that like that f obviously that fucks you up and i don't have that now I just sit on the tube and i probably noticed and i got quite far in the program and things have been nice it's all I good i don't think that would affect me because a nasty look is very similar to a smoldering look so if yeah, I did yeah. something bad and someone was on the tube, like I'm giving this guy a nasty look, oh, when yeah. they get off, I'd be like, she yeah. wants to fuck me. Fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Adam thinks a lot of Everton fans <laughs> want to fuck him really hard. <laughs> Tell you what, I went to the match. The whole Gladys Street end wants to fucking bang me. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> you oh. horny fucking toffees. <laughs> oh. And your missus was the one who convinced you to do it. Miss Grace convinced me to do it. Oh. I, 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 I was a bit, yeah. Hesitant, as you, yeah, as you can imagine. But she said, "Go and do it." it it's an adventure, isn't it? I'm so yeah. chuffed for you, man. Well done. Thank you, thank you. It's, it's really, good to be, it's, it's really good to be good back to here now. Yeah. You, were go you were gold on the trials as well. Absolutely brilliant on the trials. In when I did, when I had the guts to, I mean, I mean that first one with Matt. That was TV gold. I'm not saying you necessarily did well. No, I didn't <laughs> do well. It was TV gold. Have you watched him? Have you watched any of it back? I've not. Wa uh, no, I've watched tiny little, tiny little clips, but I've not watched me do do any of the trials or or anything. I don't. Yeah, it's I really weird watching you watch them back on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You put your hat on and you're like, this is so. And you've left it months, a couple of months. Yes. No, not quite. Two months. Two yeah. Months. Yeah, two months. A couple of yeah, a couple of months. You don't want to, oh, I don't want to watch it back, really. It's like, it's a memory. It's, it's happened. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I've got anything else to kind of say about it. It's just a surreal experience that went, that went well, I think. And better than the, you know, it couldn't have gone much. It's, it's well. Have you still got the WhatsApp group going? The WhatsApp group is still going. <laughs> the WhatsApp group is still going. Has anyone left? <laughs> Has anyone, has it come over the bottom? Like, Matt Hancock's bio. <laughs> <laughs> it's just people, it's just people saying, I'm in London, I'm a, I'm up in Manchester, it's people. Does anyone fancy a pint? Yeah. It's, oh, what a Could you do me a favour? Could you put the link to my stand-up special uh, in there for them to all retweet it? I will. Fine, <laughs> you don't need that, but I will do. Yeah. Yes, that's fine. Yeah. Um, Let's, uh, yes. Let's have a break, and then when we come back, we're going to uh, discuss our top five favourite films. Beautiful. Brilliant. We're going to put together an un undisputed top five list of films ever. It will not be possible to debate with what we're putting together. Now then, ladies and gents, time to talk about my absolute favourite sponsor. It's Manscaped. Manscaped.com. Very long-time partner to have a word. Now, they've sponsored us for a while. And look, it's New Year, isn't it? You're having a clear out of your house. Why don't you have a clear out of the hair around your cock as well? Get yourself the Manscaped Lawnmower Performance Package. It's the best shaver on the market. You can shave your balls and you won't cut your scrot. Yeah. Why are you waiting? Why have you not already got one of these? Get your fellow one for Valentine's Day. Get yourself one for Valentine's Day, lad. Shave your cock and your missus will enjoy sucking you off more than she normally does. Do you know what I mean? 
With our exclusive offer, go to manscaped.com and use code WORD20 for 20% off and free shipping. I'd be much more likely to suck a dick if it was, like, shaved. Mm. He's and always me. said that. He keeps saying it to me. Mm. And that's why I bought a Manscaped. Mm. Get 20% off and free shipping with code WORD20 at manscaped.com. And then when you're in the gym, new year, new you, oh and you're God. sweating. Yeah, it's better down there, isn't it? You don't have, like, wet pubes. Manscaped. Boom, boom, right. boom, boom. Part four, boom, we're back. Boom, Here we go. Hey. Oh, it's oh. New feature. Boom, if you've seen boom, last week's boom. episode with Russell Kane, you'll know boom, we're boom. starting a new feature. We're trying to put together definitive top fives of various things. <sighs> last week, didn't do it with Russell Kane. Didn't trust them. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thought, you know what? Brand new feature. We'll just do it on our own. Seems a waste to miss out on the passion of Sean Walsh yes. when we're talking about putting together a list of the top five films of any genre ever. How do you spell legally? And legally blonde. blonde is B-L-O-N-D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just tidying up my list. Hey, it's a good film. But they both are. They're both on my list. Uh, this legally is an ex this is brand new. Too. Yeah, second week. Oh, second week. Oh, yeah. so you did it you two. First with the guests. Then it just us. Yeah. And, and what was the top five? Villains. Top TV five villains. and movie villains. The Lord is Aldridge from um, Harry Potter. The Joker, Amy Dunn, the Joker, Hans Lander, and, and Joffrey. Joffrey, ah, uh, can't believe we didn't mention Bane. Hans is in, uh, as in, um, no, Hans bastards. Hans Lander. Ah, not Han, Hans Gruber. People From have commented. Diad. A lot of people have said Hans Gruber should be in there, but yeah, Bill, Bill Clay. Clay. Yes, <laughs> did you do that? Bill. Yeah, Clay. we oh. always do that. Clay, We're we always do that. How do you spell Die Hard? Go on. Uh, Sean, as our esteemed guest, we're going to let you uh, pick the first film to be debated. And if we think it's bollocks, we're going to tell you. Yeah. I yeah, cool. know, I appreciate that. Yeah. I, I so know, do you I know, know your top five? You got it in your head? I've come prepared. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so what are we going for first? Okay, so Ghostbusters. Yeah. Solid. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a great film. And it's The nostalgic. man or the woman one? <laughs> oh, come on, <laughs> bro. Let's... I've gone for Ocean's Eight, like. I <laughs> no, I call that the 2016 one to just be safe. Okay, yeah. To be very so the careful. original one, 1984, one? Ghostbusters. Uh, my mum took me to see Ghostbusters two in 1989, and I think that that worked back and that had a profound effect. And now my flat is like it's like this. So we all either have a word stuff. My flat is with Ghostbusters stuff. I'm obsessed. So is that your go that's your number one ever? Well, that, yeah. Is Stay yeah. Puft Marshmallow Man two? No, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man is one. And the painting is two. Yes, Vigo. Oh. Vigo the Carpathian is number two. Oh, yeah. Shit. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Which one's Dan oh, Aykroyd in? Oh my god. <laughs> is that a joke? No. See in both. It's in all three. All three. Yeah. He's not in 2016. It's it's not, no, he is, but oh, not is. as oh. Ray stands. Um, Charlie, Charlie, if, Charlie if, if our kid is a boy, Charlie's middle name will be Egon. Fuck off. I will not fuck Seriously. off. I will Charlie fuck off. Charlie Egon Walsh. Charlie Egon Adderley Walsh. Her name's Adderley. She's not in Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> Just, there you go. Egon. Do you think Ghostbusters... What he means, Mr. Mayor, is a real wrath of God type stuff. Fire and brimstone coming down from the skies, rivers and seas boiling, 40 years of darkness, earthquakes, volcanoes, the dead rising from the grave, human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. Enough. I get your point. So is Ace Ventura the second <laughs> <pair>. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> but what if you're wrong? If I'm wrong, nothing happens. We go to jail peacefully, quietly. We'll enjoy it. But if I'm right, and we can stop this thing. It sounds good, like Then you, <laughs> Lenny, would have saved the lives of millions of registered voters. Fuck, he's going into acting. You've seen the scene in The Devil's Advocate where Al Pacino... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> when he loses. Uh, yeah, See, yeah, it's yeah. Too, is that 80s? 84. My 80s yeah, picks the 80s Back is, to the Future. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think they have to go up against each other. I don't think you can have both of them in there. I, I, it, I here's understand my question that. to you. Do you think Ghostbusters is your favourite film or one of the best or both? I, I actually... I actually, we'll I'll just bore the head off you, but I actually think it's one of the best films. It's certainly one of the best ever comedies. It's a very unique film. There's no film quite like it. 
The way that America, if you look at, especially American films now with Will Ferrell and, and such like, and those kind of big, those big performances, those kind of, you know, the stoner films, even when they own Wilson and Vince Vaughn films, they're like bigger, kind of big performances. What Ghostbusters did, which is so unique, is just play it for, for absolute real. The whole thing is played at real. And they start off, when the script was first given to Ivan Reitman, the director, it was set in space. And they were already Ghostbusters, and it was meant to be John Belushi and Don, Dan Aykroyd. And Ivan Reitman looked at the script, he went, no, we, ne we need to believe this. Bring this into the real world. Have them become Ghostbusters. And the way that that journey happens with the characters, you just start off, they're into paranormal activity, and then they become Ghostbusters, step by step. And how the jokes are played as real, there's really nothing quite like it. Yeah, and also the special effects that now look mental. When I was a kid, and I watch Slimer yes. for the first time. And obviously, this is a fake. I probably watched this for the first time when I was like seven, six, seven exactly. years old. It was the most mesmerizing shit you've oh ever seen. Oh my God. There's a fucking green ghost that comes and you're like, oh, is it scary? Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. It just fucking slimes everyone. I don't think oh. I've ever seen Ghostbusters. Yeah, there's going to be a bit of that in these top five. I think I'm it? getting a confused no, no. with Casper, the friendly ghost. Yeah. I've seen that. <laughs> yeah, Ray, yeah. Ray Stan, Dan Aykroyd's in that as a Ghostbuster. Okay. Plays a cameo. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, he does. There's a priest comes in, tries to get rid of him. Dan Aykroyd comes in and goes, there's nothing I can do. Or who, something like, who are you going to call? Somebody else. Yes. And I, and I, and I, I heard that line and I refuse to watch Casper ever again. <laughs> you know how much of me two granddads talk yeah. about the war? <laughs> <laughs> Have you? What, where, where, hang on, where do you stand with Ghostbusters? Uh, I, I watched it once or twice when I was a kid, and I was just like, yeah, yeah. sound. Ghosts and that. Ghosts yeah. and that. So like it, doesn't, it doesn't remotely <laughs> compete with anything in my do you know top five just, for me. Do you know what I've just remembered? And I need to now buy. I need to buy a model of Ecto-1. Of course you do. But I want that more than anything I want right now in the world. <laughs> and I want to put it in the yeah, garden like that office. the DeLorean. For well, me, 80s films, not on Beats Back to the Future. I, I just DM, not DM'd, I actually wrote it so the public would see it. Jason Reitman, who's I, I'm properly fucking nerding out everyone now. I was, I, everyone's turned off. I'm so sorry. But Jason Reitman is Ivan Reitman's son. And Jason Reitman directed Ghostbusters 3, right? Which was only made a couple of years ago. Yep. And I happened to meet him at the LA Comedy Store a few years ago when it had been announced that it was directing and I and I stopped him and I, I, I was too familiar the way I said Jason it was like a nutter I went J Jason and he turned around <laughs> like he thought the person knew him and I went sorry I just uh, I'm, a, I'm a comedian from London I, I, Ghostbusters means everything to me and, and I, I just want to say good luck and he says and he said uh, um, good I, he said thank you I, I hope I don't let you down and I put my hand on his shoulder and I said you're not gonna did he? no Okay. No, 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 sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I should have just said, yes, it was awful. No, it, he, 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 but, but, but he, they're doing number four and it's filming in London. And I messaged him today on the train on the way up here saying, please let me be an extra in that. So oh. for the lids, get on Jason Reitman's we back. Can, we, can, we can put some pressure on Jason here. Like. I want to be an extra in Ghostbusters 4. <laughs> please make that happen. I'm going to get Freddie Quinn to talk to him for you. <laughs> And you oh, don't know. Yeah, it'll work. That'll work. Adam. Freddy versus Jason. Uh, <laughs> nice. Adam. I enjoyed that. I think it's I think our guest is gonna fight pretty hard for Ghostbusters. What um what you got where well, you Well my going? number one draft pick, as we all know, is a few good men. It's a it's an excellent film. Okay. Have you seen it? A long time ago. All I know is the line. Get out of here! That one. <laughs> oh, what one do you mean? You, you can't handle the truth. I don't remember that, bit. <laughs> Are you joking? Yeah. You're fu <laughs> <laughs> fuck's sake. <laughs> right, okay, yes. I don't, yeah, right, okay, yes, a few good men. Okay, yeah. why? I just think, like, I love courtroom dramas, right? I think they're the best. I think I could have been a lawyer in another life. I really do. Okay. Right? I like to treat comedy like it's the law. Like, oh, I don't explain because my concept is my client. I don't care whether it's guilty. It's just can I get it off? Oh, that is good. You know what I mean? That is, you know when you have like um, Instagram pages that are like script writer and they have a quote from a director about like what you know writing something down is better than not writing anything at all. That yeah. 
One day yeah. there's going to be a stand-up <laughs> comedy meme and it's going to be that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't yeah, care I... if I believe my joke as long as I can convince an audience that it's funny. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, yeah, my stuff's about fruit bowls. So it's not going <laughs> to... It's not the same. But, <laughs> but, you, know, but yeah, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's brilliant. No, yeah. I, I love that. So I love courtroom stuff and I just... I love that film. I think Tom Cruise puts in a fucking amazing performance as a young lad. Like, and I think with Hollywood actors who are good looking or considered to be, like Tom Cruise is like considered an archetype of someone who's good looking. And they, it's sort of like leveled at them as like a, a criticism of their acting ability. Oh, he's just a good looking actor. And I think a role like that can, make, can be him going, no, I'm not. I'm actually fucking sick at my job as well. And Jack Nicholson is exceptional. in every, He's only in like three or four scenes and steals all of them and just gets his bollocks out. And he's like, look how good I am at acting. Yes. The storyline's great. The the big moment that you're talking about, you can't handle the truth. His rant is the diction he performs it with. And there's like, it looks like it's the first take, even though it can't fucking possibly be. Like the arrogance he's got is just, I think it's the, the, the best film of all time. That was the thing is we're all going to be convincing here, aren't we? Because we feel I we care feel... about what we're talking. But the about. thing is, yeah. even if we get four and we all go, okay, we all get one. There's going to be one that we have to fight for. Okay. And I've got four other options. Well, there. Well, I'm um, firmly throwing in Pulp Fiction by Quentin Tarantino, which I saw when I was 14 years old, and it changed. Does he look it, like a bitch? It changed how I thought about film forever, because someone made the coolest film imaginable with gangsters and fucking motorbikes and guns and fucking getting rid of bodies, but also wrote a script that was so human and funny and just nonsensical. Like the, the, the scene that I, there's loads of scenes that are amazing, but that moment where uh, Vincent and Jules are driving, they're driving to go and execute people who sold who've stolen from their boss. Yeah. But you see 10 minutes before they get to the door <laughs> where they're just asking, I've been to Amsterdam. Hey, what's, what's going on Amsterdam? It's fucking weird, man. They do things differently. It's a, such a oh. laddy, silly conversation about fucking nothing. And you're like, these guys are, these, you know, this, it's so funny. Yeah. And so also there's no point to it. There's no, it's not driving the story. He's just humanizing these people because that's how people talk. Yes. And then they get to the door, they go hang back. They start talking about foot massages and they're having a bickery lads argument. And then they knock on the door, change into character, go in and it's a scripted execution. And I remember watching that going, <laughs> I don't know what I'm watching. I've never seen anyone write a script or, or make characters this real, so frightening. But 10 minutes before they're like, what do they call a Big Mac? Like, what's a Whopper? I don't know, I didn't go in Burger King. And then 10 minutes later, they're killing someone cold-bloodedly. I There's so many layers of Pulp Fiction that I love, but it 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 changed me as a, it made me fall in love with, with films. Cause I'd always liked films, you liked films as a kid. Yes. And that made me go, this is some of the best stuff Ever. Well, it was one of, for me, it was like one of the first, I think it was one of the first films where you're like, oh my God, like, this is like non-linear. It's like- Yeah, they're chopping around. Yeah, they're the, chopping yeah. around. It's like different timelines. That blew my, I hadn't even considered that you could do that with a story. Yeah. Yeah. You've got, you got to talk about the soundtrack when it comes to Pulp Fiction yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah, also he's a master of the soundtrack. The Alex Turner done it, didn't he? Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> and uh, Jackie Brown, Res I mean, Reservoir Dogs is great. Jackie Brown <laughs> never got held up, but yeah. I think Jackie Brown's an exceptional film. But Pulp oh. Fiction. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were uh, saying I'm, my, my vote is, this is, it's not like a, a left field one, but Pulp Fiction is one of my votes. What's your first pair? My first Toy Story. Toy Story's on my list. <laughs> Uh, I think for rewatchability, like four. It's not my favorite one. Is is why I put it up my list. My favorite's The Lion King, but I think Toy Story is objectively changed, a better film. It changed everything in terms of yeah. what, what was possible. Animation it was wise. the first Pixar, wasn't it? Yeah, formative Feature. wise, like my age going up. Rewatchability. Right, and Andy on the fucking shoe of your toys, like on your action man. I've got Woody then. I wrote, I wrote Andy on my action man. My name's Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a Woody there in the corner. Like, a fucking boss one. <laughs> um, Rewatchability, like it makes me so happy. Like the soundtrack. Do you know what I'm colours. gonna do the second we stop recording today? 
I'm going online and I'm buying myself a Buzz Lightyear. Oh. There you go. Oh, this See, has been great. eBay's going to get hit pretty hard. <laughs> after I'm this. buying myself Exo a Buzz Lightyear. Like yeah. a fucking good one as well. Like a hundred quid Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, because how it makes you feel. And for, for, to me, films, it's how I'm it makes you so feel. excited to get me Buzz Lightyear. I might, do you know what? If there's one in stock in town, I'm going to get it today. I need it now. What are your? Uh, we can't give this much depth to every film. But I know that's what the are your, problem. What are your? What, just is, what are your others? Reel them out. Yeah, go. Yeah. On. Let's see if there's so, any overlap on the other four for each. Go on. What you, oh, okay, it's Ghostbusters. Yeah. Uh, uh, Lost in Translation. Oh, what a fucking film! I've I haven't seen there, that. So you got that on there? No, but it makes me feel like because I live there, it makes me feel at home. You, you live yeah. in Tokyo. I live in Japan. Yeah. Yeah, he's from Japan. Can you not hear the accent? <laughs> That's a really if strong... If I told you Carl's nan was Japanese, though, you would believe it. Like, look at him. He looks like he could possibly have a Japanese yeah, nan. So we're, go we're going back in August and we're going to stay in that hotel. Oh, that's cool. Right, that's very cool. Okay. Ghostbusters, Lost in Translation, so that's two Bill Murray. Uh, Jim Carrey film has to be in there for me, but, but, Liar Liar. Oh! Yeah! Yes! Oh, I think Liar yes! Liar, Laugh for Laugh, is maybe the funniest film ever. Yes! Yeah. yeah phenomenal. Yeah. I the just, truth. I literally, yeah, I literally free. just watched it on Saturday and I went, Etta, she's so obsessed with the iPad. She just wants to watch quick video. I was like, let's watch a film that we can all have on. I forgot about the, <laughs> like, I forgot about that bit. So we had to just turn down the courtroom sex bit. Oh but I was like, Etta, watch if she was like, what's it about? I was like, it's about a daddy who is a liar and then uh, uh, his son makes a birthday wish oh. and he can't lie anymore. And her face just went, the fuck? That sounds <laughs> great. I've never seen a kid more into a film. film. It was so good. His performance is unreal oh in that God. film. Liar Liar is so good. It's got a memorable outtake in the credits. In the court. Yeah. When, oh, when, when he's going to Yes! <laughs> it's an outtake and you can quote it. I love those outtakes. Jezebel, overactor. He's like... <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I think, phenomenal. yeah, if you're putting a, if you're talking oh. comedy films and you've got to put one in because you've got to like represent the genre in your top five, I don't... I think uh, Liar Liar's got to be up there. What else have you got? Great. What's your last uh, one? So, um, oh, last two. It's a great Jim Carrey <laughs> and Liar Liar impression. <laughs> Ghostbusters, <laughs> Lost in Translation. Liar Liar, <laughs> uh, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Oh, no, no. God. What are you talking about? Do, do you know the woman? Do you know genuinely? <laughs> I've had dreams where I've woke up in a sweat because of the woman with the milky eye and that. She scares. The fucking shit I, out of me. I'm just put on that alone. Was they, she in Big Brother? Oh, the, <laughs> <laughs> Alan, Alan Rickman, right? Yeah. So something about that film. Oh. Alan, just quickly, Alan Rickman, uh, I understand, got, got it into his contract that he had creative control and he could do what he wanted in that film. So if you went next time you rewatch that film, now pay attention to what's happening, which is there is a film that kind of seems like it's trying to get an Oscar nomination. <laughs> it's like one of those films. <laughs> and then Alan Rickman's doing something from Panto. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking <laughs> Kenneth Williams. Yeah, it's, oh. so, it's so amazing. Oh, brilliant. Ken, um, um, no, one of my favorite ever lines. Um, um, I'm going to get you, Robin Hood, and I'm going to cut your heart out with a spoon. <laughs> and then it cuts, and it's cut. It's like I've never seen, and his cousin goes, Why a spoon, cousin? <laughs> Why not a sword or an axe? <gasps> and the river goes, Because it's blood, you twit, it'll hurt more. <laughs> <laughs> You can't, but you can't, that can't be in the top five films of all time, Sean. It's so good. It, it, it isn't in the top so five. So good. He, stab, he stabs his cousin with a sword about half an hour later and goes, at least I didn't use a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> also, Morgan Freeman, who is a person yeah. of colour, is doing a pretty racist character. <laughs> Where's he from? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Middle Easty foreign. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Christian. <laughs> I wonder if the director was like, Morgan, can you tone that down a little bit? <laughs> Christian, I will come with you. <laughs> hey. Oh, I didn't even <laughs> realise that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, if, you, right. if you watch Morgan oh, Freeman, his performance right. that, he's like I'm really I'm going full tilt barbarian oh my god what's your last one that's oh it, that's fine. come back to me I forgot oh Sean you're so perfect last for this. you've got quote recall that was fine not total it? recall 
No. Look, I'm, then... all, I'm all for women with three tits, mate, but you can't oh. not be putting that in your top five no. films of all time. <laughs> Do- uh, sorry, it has to, I'm sure it's in one of yours, The Dark Knight. Yeah, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. The Dark Knight Rises. Whoa, whoa. Don't I've... even uh, talk. Is horse that a joke? Cunt. Are you fucking... You are talking utter horse tits. You... He's got rises. That's no. The Dark Knight Rises is a better film. It's no, just overshadowed no, by the performance no, of Heath Ledger. No, no, yes, no, you, no. You, you deserve to be cancelled. <laughs> oh, no, no. And that no. is coming. You're and so... I just did an African accent. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. The Dark Knight Rises is a much better story. No. And the, the performance of Heath Ledger is what you remember from The Dark Knight. No. Uh, it, I can't disagree What are you that talking is... about? Oh, I love bollocks. The Dark Knight Rises. The first scene but... of Dark Knight is better than anything in The Dark Rises. Because of Heath Ledger. Take Heath Ledger out. Put someone else in Heath that role. Heath Ledger is in it for two seconds. That. And Make got... John Barrowman. Yeah, the, the, the Joker. Out. Take Jim Carrey out. Yeah. <laughs> Not <Bollocks>. as good. <laughs> yeah, that's like... Getting... For me. For me. Take Jim Carrey out. Like, no, like, don't that, think it's you, good. You are wrong. You... Put, yeah, put Michael Barrymore and a few good men. See what happens. See what happens. He's been in loads of them. The fellow would have died differently. <laughs> Let's all just have a second to breathe. Or dirt. Or dirt. Thank you. Woo. Um, keep going. Was I not you, meant to make you're that You're right. Oh, Dark Knight. Let's get your five then. I had the Dark Knight Rises. Wrong. Toy Story. Yes. A Few Good Men. Okay. Die Hard. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. It's great. It's, it's, it's not it's in my top five. It's all year round Christmas film. It's a phenomenal. Yeah. It's it's hard to like, it's a Christmas film you can watch in June. Go on. And it, Hans Gruber, phenomenal uh, from Alan Rickman. Uh, Bruce, I nearly said Forsyth. Bruce Forsyth. Bruce, <laughs> Bruce, <laughs> Bruce Willis. Bruce Forsyth in that. <laughs> yeah. Take Bruce Willis. Ah, oh, die on. <laughs> you became a fool. Yeah. Gets in the lift, higher or lower? <laughs> there you go. There you go. I fucked the joke up. Watch it done properly. Last one. Um, I think this one has to be in the top five films ever. It's uh, Sleepers. Oh, God. I've never even heard of that. You've, no, you've... I've watched it. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, you know. It's top five. Yeah. Do you know what Sleepers is? There's always going to be a there was always yeah. going to be a bit of paedophilia, wasn't there, in in someone's top five? Yeah. If they get abused when they're kids. Yeah. And then go back and. Well, so, yeah, I don't want to ruin the film for anyone who's going to watch it. It came out in 1989, so <laughs> I don't think we have to do spoilers for Sleepers. Um, have you seen it? You've explained it. Is it the one with the big card? <laughs> yeah, I mean that's a weird way to summarise it, but you've yeah. explained the two. Maybe. These kids, they rob a fucking hot dog stand, right? And they fucking run away with it. That's Scout fair. synopsis. The fella who owns the hot dog stands like, get back here with me hot dogs, you little pricks, right? right. He chases them and they're like, right, going he's going he's gonna to grab us unless we make it, uh, put his hot dog stand in jeopardy. So they sort of like hang it over the top of a subway staircase. And they're like, what we'll do is we'll wait till he gets here and we'll let it go. He'll grab that and he won't have time to grab us and we can run away. Smart kids. Um, they let it go down the stairs. It hits a fella. They think he's dead. Doesn't kill him. They get sent to like a young boys offenders thing, and then Kevin Bacon bums them. <laughs> That's the end of it. <laughs> but then they come out. Ooh, hot dogs to bacon. Very pork related film. Then they come out, and uh, no. two of them become like gangsters, and they're having a little bevy in a in a bar. Kevin Bacon's there having some uh, meatloaf, uh, the meal, not. And he's uh, <laughs> they walk over to him and they're like, hang on, you bummed us when we were kids. And he's like, Oh, I was just trying to make you tough. And they go, Fuck off, kill him. Then one of their mates who they were in juvie with, uh, that he defends. Now he tries to prosecute them, but he fucks it up on purpose so that they get away with killing the child abuser. It's a it's a a very famous, powerful film. I didn't I wouldn't have it in my top five. No. But it's a great film. I feel like this is our top fives, though, isn't it? Let's be honest. It's very hard to. Yeah, it's impossible. Yeah, you're not. You're not doing best, are you? You're doing. Yeah, best. yeah. That's. It's impossible. We get what we get, don't we? Yeah. yeah. Go on, Dan. What are your five? Um, I love Groundhog Day. Yes. So much. I think it's such a wonderful, perfect film. Is that and Bill Murray again? It's the one where he gets stuck in. Yeah, yeah. Is that Bill Murray. Directed again? by Egon. No way. Directed by Egon. Is he, what, Zemeckis? Is that, isn't it Robert ha- Zemeckis? Harold Ramis. Harold Ramis. Oh, Ramis, yeah. He died about five, six years ago, didn't he? And yeah. Bill Murray and Harold Ramis didn't talk because they fell out 
during the making of that film, and and then when Harold Ramis was 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 dying, Bill Murray went and visited him. Ow. So. Groundhog Day, if you've not watched it as an adult, like it came out 30 odd yeah. years ago. Just go back and watch Groundhog I've Day. I've never seen it. It's so fucking good. Oh. And Bill Murray is incredible in it. Yeah. It's all him. Do you know all the stories of Bill Murray? And a groundhog. Like apparently he goes up to people in restaurants and like nicks a chip off the plate and goes, no one will ever believe you. Yeah. And walks off. He doesn't have an agent. He just has an answer phone. Oh. And if you have a script and you want him to be in the film, you have to ring that number. There's just a number that the industry knows about. You know, you don't, there's no one. You don't get his number. He has a phone number for his answer phone, and you have to pitch the film on his answer phone. And when he feels like it, he listens to the answer phones and goes, "No, that's shite. That's how he got. That's he ended up being in Zombieland, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. At, playing himself at the very end. Oh my <laughs> god, uh, Groundhog Day. I love. Uh, these are a bit. They aren't. These are a bit more wanky. I love the Royal Tenenbaums. Watch that. It's, that was nearly going to be in my top five. It, I love all Wes Anderson films, but the Royal Tenenbaums, I, I just think it's the most amazing character-driven, funny, and I think Owen Wilson's performance, um, Luke Wilson's performance in it is amazing. Oh. Uh, Spirited Away. That was going to be in my The Studio Ghibli film is so fucking magical. Yeah. I don't think I've seen enough to films to have an informed opinion. And on again, the <laughs> I, 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 watched, I watched it with Etta. And it was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> when she was four. I love watching films. I like five with films and I just wanted you to all go, you're right, Adam. <laughs> Spirited Away is spectacular. And this, this is, I, I think Amelie is one of my oh, favorite yeah, ever films. Never seen I've never, I've never f been to the cinema and watched a film and it's in French and it's subtitled obviously, but it's, the most, um, it's a masterpiece. I'm not, and I, I'm and not I getting honestly, tricked into reading a book. I, I honestly, <laughs> I came up a little bit watching that film. I've never felt better leaving a cinema because it's so heartwarming. Oh. Um, and I'm gay. Um, <laughs> it's, I think it's heartwarming amazing. wise, and one I should have put on my list is Chef with John Favreau. I love that. I'd I probably mm, Take the Dark Knight Rises out for Chef. Yeah, because that's wrong. I, My top five. If is... you've not watched Spirited Away, please go and oh, watch Spirited fantastic. Away, and then and then discover all the other Studio Ghibli, Matt Porco Rosso, do drugs and do uh, Nausicaa Valley of the Wind. Uh, there's so many. Got and my my neighbor Totoro. Oh my god, I love Studio Ghibli. Uh, I've got Dark Knight, which has been said. Toy Story, obviously. Uh, Django Unchained. <laughs> Yeah, God, I fucking hate the ending, but I yeah. feel like Tarantino has to be in everybody's top five, at least in some way. Because he's got so many fucking... Yeah. He's got so many bangers, hasn't he? Wait, yeah. Who, did not like the end, though. I, so Tarantino's recent, like, Inglorious Bastards and, and Django Unchained, and what's the what's other time in Hollywood? The Hateful Eight. This, yeah. this, the hate um, is it, is it, a, uh, what is it um, a homage to? The, the sort of made up, imagined, almost like, silly ends they're, they're, they're oh, like it's an incredibly deaths, serious yeah. film that builds to this sort of daft fucking shootout like a spaghetti western and I, I love it because it's so believable you don't have to spend, suspend belief for any of these films Django Unchained is gripping and grim and brilliant right from the and by the end it's just a daft fucking shootout and the theatre blowing up in Inglourious Bastards I'm like I, I know people love it but I, I I don't like the lack of realism for some reason. Have you seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? I have, yes. It's the same with the end, isn't it? Yeah. That's kind of just Tarantino style, isn't it? it, it's, it's, it? No, but it's become that. It wasn't. Yeah. It's post-Kill Bill. Yeah. Laura hated Once Upon a Time in Hollywood so much. It's two it. hours, <clears throat> 40 minutes. And I was literally in the cinema going, oh, God, I'm, I'm loving it so much. And she could tell that I was enjoying it and it was annoying her. <laughs> if you're not into those kind of films... It's yeah. a slow film. So, so so it's character I was trying to describe weird. this to I can't remember. There is there, there's kind of two types of good film, I think. Film like that you just enjoy, say Toy Story. It begins, you're in. What a wonderful idea. The concept of toys being alive, what a wonderful idea. And you just enjoy that film throughout the 90 or so minutes. Then there's another type of film, which is you kind of have to put up with it almost in one of a better like word you kind of you know you just have to stick with it even though you might not actually be enjoying it at the time and then the story gets to the end and that moment like in lost in translation actually when you think about it the first time you're watching that film you don't really know where it's going it's not a kind of plot driven film so 
you're just kind of watching these two people live and then it gets to the moment where he whispers in her ear and it was all worth it. Yeah, because that's what life's like. Life isn't perfectly succinct, doesn't always tie off on everything. Like I watch films where you're like, this is uh, difficult to watch. It doesn't make it any less yeah. mesmerizing. Yes. Like, like Groundhog Day starts, he wakes up again, he wakes up again, you go, yeah. oh, I get this. And then it pays off. And it's very, it's a real feel good film. But you get to the end of the hour and 40 minutes and go, hmm, that was good. And then there's other films where it's a bit of an ordeal. Yes. But it doesn't make it like, Michael Clayton with George Clooney is a hard film to, to watch. But the characters and the, the plot, it's, it's heavy and brutal and original. And you get to the end of it and you have to sort of take a minute, but it doesn't make it any less it exceptional. Makes things, doesn't oh it? my God, yeah. Uh, my last two are Back to the Future and Goodfellas. Goodfellas nearly oh, made it yes. man. Goodfellas is just yeah. fucking incredible. Every time you watch it. Can't argue Jimmy! With that. Yeah, it's just, it's perfect. Goodfellas is incredible. For as long as I remember, I was one to be a gang. And I, I oh my God. had a stroke. A lesbian maid. Yeah, he's left Kenny Lingus. That was a callback to something you didn't say. I haven't just had a stroke. <laughs> Sign up at patreon.com slash have a word pod. Yeah. Oh, I enjoyed that. Comment below your top five. I, so, YouTube, TikTok. So I, 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 Pulp Fiction, uh, uh, you definitely have to have Ghostbusters in there. Oh, Ghostbusters. You need to be, you sold a few good them. men. And sleep. Toy Story needs to go in. And then, surely, Liar Liar. Yeah, for as comedy. As the five, because we Step all... Step Brothers, though, I was going to put uh, Step yeah, Brothers okay. in comedy. What? Spirited Away doesn't Step go in the top five. Step Brothers is not as good as Liar Liar. And Liar Liar goes in. 100%. Come on, bro. They haven't seen it. Though. I know. I have. Oh, you've seen Spirited but Away? But we, what that reaction of when I said Liar Liar. Liar Liar is maybe the funniest film ever. Yeah. Come yeah. on. <laughs> that's the that's our five, but like... It's the five, no one can argue with it. That's the five. Who, I really want to go and watch a film. Same. I'm going but, to the cinema tonight. What are you going to go and watch? I'm going to go and watch Babylon. Babylon. Ask for, oh, ask for Babylon. Liar Liar. I will. Yes. <laughs> Put that um, up. Right, listen, got one for you. If you were like three inches inside your mum. <laughs> oh, no. And your dad was three inches inside you. Yeah. Right, would you rather go forward to get your dad out your ass and into yeah. your mum? Or back and come out your mum and go, you dad all the way in. Go sideways. Can I just say, I don't know where you got that question. <laughs> I don't know what, how you just came up with it, but I wish someone had emailed that in 429 times <laughs> in over. three years. Fall over sideways. The pen is... <laughs> Royal Blue. Yes. That's Sean nice. Walsh, thank you for being part of <laughs> one of my favourite episodes of this fucking... I Podcast. Always ever. love doing this, and I would lean back. Would you? Lean back. Yep. No, I'd lean absolutely back. go further lean in. Back. No, I'm going Straight. back. My dad. Can... I've never met him. I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> either way, to me, either way, you're shagging your parents, and in one of them, you're getting bummed. No, you're not shagging anybody if you're getting bummed. You don't want it. <laughs> Are we actually doing this? Oh no, let's not do it. It's not <laughs> actually. All this time. Just... <laughs> We've never done it. Do you plug stuff? Yeah. When I'm gone or... No, we can do it now. No, oh, you, you're I'm doing that. fine. I'm on <laughs> tour. No, I'm not. I'm on, yeah. I'm on tour. I'm on tour. Come. <laughs> my tickets. Listen to my podcast with Paul. That's it. Can you tell us the name of the podcast? Maybe? What's upset you now? They can't just Google Sean's podcast with Paul. Can, well, what's upset you now? Please, please. Yes. And you're Fantastic. on tour? And I'm on tour. Where do we get tickets for that, Sean? Oh, uh, SeanWalsh.com. Hey! Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Well, if you've watched the whole of today's episode and not enjoyed it, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Do one. <laughs> Do one, because you're as wrong. as it gets. Oh. Um, Dan's got a special out. It's on this YouTube. Yeah. It's uh, on the Have a Word Pod YouTube smasher. Please I've got one as well. It's been out for a few it. weeks, if you want to watch that. But watch his first, please. Um, VoteHaveAWord.com. VoteHaveAWord.com. That will take you to the National Comedy Awards. We're shortlisted and we deserve to win because everyone else who's nominated is a prick. I'm on tour <laughs> in the autumn, <laughs> making enemies. Uh, DanNightingale.com, I'm on tour. I'm in Grimsby. There's other places, but I've nearly sold out Grimsby. <laughs> Get in. Big love to all the other nominees. I I, hope, I genuinely yeah. hope you all manage to finish second. Yeah, do they sell out Grimsby? <laughs> <laughs> Joint I don't second. Think so. <laughs> Sean, we love you. I love you. Thank you for having Thanks me. Thanks for coming. As always. Quick song? No song? Oh, oh yeah. Go on, Finn. Oh, I, what's oh, happening? My Finn, nana's Finn broken likes labia. To songs on at the end of the episode. Oh. They say this like it wasn't their idea. Ah, oh, oh, my idea. So we have, we, You've every, made a song. Every, no, no, no. People That's coming soon. 
Uh, every week we have we have the unsigned... guest freestyler rap. Yeah, we have an unsigned uh, artist send music in, and we give him a, uh, oh. a shout out on the audio. That's and this cool. week is a band from Bristol called Adult Leisure. Shite. And oh, Adult Leisure. They've got a gig in the Jacaranda. Oh. If you're listening this week, this Friday, the third of February, go and so, see Adult yeah, Leisure. Try and get down to that. And the song is called Control. Shite. Oh, like it. Control spelled traditionally or like with cunt and roll. Cunt roll. I'll have to Adult check. Leisure with their hit single, Cunt Roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. I love my job. Oh, <laughs> See you guys. Au revoir. Bye, Felicia. <laughs>